Hello everybody and welcome to Dungeons and Drams, uh, where some of your favorite whiskey tubers get together to play Dungeons and Dragons. Um, so Jason and Clifton will be joining us in about a couple minutes, um, about a couple minutes. So uh, couple for minutes. the moment, I'm joined here with Ed from the Rocket Review, uh, or possibly formerly with the Rocket. I don't really know yeah. what we should introduce you. Hey, I don't know. I think you've done like six videos now saying like, I'm back. <laughs> so. I don't know. I've only done the one saying I'm back. Oh, okay. And then well, the other one was just, I'm not back. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, I am I, prone for exaggeration, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm done with the, I'm done with the, the social media. Yeah. Except for don't... this, apparently. Except for this, uh, apparently. <laughs> That's okay. We like uh, it here. So, um, and Adriana from Whiskey Mountains. Hi, Adriana. Hello. I did not grab my keyboard, so I'm awkwardly going like this over and over <laughs> how, how does one not have a keyboard <laughs> like oh you well, mean like it's, it's like just my, off my, to the it's side. my laptop yes i just have a laptop i don't have a, ah. a legit computer or anything so i just have to randomly set everything up for the streams but normally you would see like my messy office or whatever. your messy everything <laughs> yes well, that's all right I actually, I was down Look the Cape, I was down the Cape uh, this last weekend, so I had to take my everything with me, including my giant monitor and everything, because I was working there for a few days, so oh, can relate to, like uh, it's been a while since I've had to tear down and build up everything, uh, so happy to, mm, happy to be home. Uh, um, so Clifton was here for a moment, but he's, uh, I think he's pouring a drink. Sorry, that's stuff. okay. No, it's all right. Um, Adriana, what are you drinking tonight? Uh, well... <laughs> What I'm going to switch to after my initial pour of Knob Creek mm -hmm. uh, is this down home double oaked whiskey. Okay. Which was a mashing journey pick. Mm. And he's pretty sure that it's Jim Beam. It's uh, been double oaked and it's really good. Nice. I bought that one as well. I've already drank it though. So. <laughs> you already drank yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> I, I keep like, it keeps like randomly getting hidden behind other bottles and then I'll randomly discover it again and be like, ooh. <laughs> Happy surprise! Nice. So. Uh, Ed, are you? What in... about you? Oh, yeah. Are you oh. Uh, drinking tonight, Ed? Or are you? Well, I am not. I am still observing dry January. Oh, that's I right. Did actually, January. I did actually break break dry dry January though this uh, this past weekend for professional reasons, mm -hmm. uh, which I don't think quite counts. Like if you do it for a job, it doesn't quite count. I but agree. I am back yeah. to my big glass of orange juice for the evening. <laughs> uh, but. I am going to use these fine Elijah Craig brand mm -hmm. matches to light my little pipe. The, okay. YouTube's okay with uh, tobacco products, right? I don't think it's a problem. Um, okay, as, then let's say that's yeah, what I this think is. It, I, think it's I was just going to say, I think it's a tobacco product, so as long as it's yeah, a tobacco product, yeah, we're then good. it's fine. We're mm -hmm. good. There we go. I think it's the same category with alcohol, yeah. 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 <laughs> I was going to say, if they've got a problem with uh, that and we are allowed to drink on stream, I think they've got their priorities wrong. So, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. um, so Clifton, that that's kind of, uh, never mind. Hi, Clifton. How are you today? Hi. Hello. Sorry I was late. I was, yeah, we, it's just been a day and like I was eating really fast to make it here, but. <laughs> yeah, so. no problem. We appreciate that. I like your shirt. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this is a Heaven Hill product. Um, it's, uh, they released it for Pride last year, so. Oh, had some that's friends cool. actually visit the distillery and ship it to me so it's funny i totally would have thought that was uh like a bourbon bites thing like it just kind of it doesn't look so I mean, obviously it's a rainbow but it doesn't look so much pride as it does just like colorful and so i was kind of picturing it with your yeah, brand colorful bourbon. Yeah. Yeah. yeah i mean to be fair I should, maybe i'll make a pride shirt this year we'll see you should <laughs> yeah you definitely you should. Should. it does look a lot like bourbon bites yeah yeah hey jason nice to see you what's up guys so clifton oh. what are you drinking tonight um, like I said, I, I rushed here, so I just grabbed sure. the first bottle I saw, which is this um, Wild Turkey Kentucky Spirit pick. Ooh, nice. Um, from my friends at the oh. Virtual Tasting Society. They do weekly tastings online, uh, mostly local folks, but people across across the country participate in them. It's a lot of fun. Um, check them out, virtualtastingsociety.com. That's my shout-out to you. He always says I never <laughs> talk about them enough, so. <laughs> <laughs> sure. There you go. Now you're talking about them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, Jason... Welcome. What are you? Uh, right. What are you popping right now? I hear hear a cork getting pulled. Uh, I just actually got ADHD whiskey's new backbone pick, so I just figured I'd give it a try. Haven't mm. haven't gotten a chance to try it yet, but nice. Does he only yep. do picks through his Patreon? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, because I I didn't 
hear anything about it. I, I'm not one of his patrons. So I like that cover. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. He has, he has uh, cool stickers. Very cool. So, um, yeah, this is, uh, it's eight years old, I believe. It looks like it's almost eight years old. Oh, no. It's no. It's legit eight years old. Cool. All right. I am uh, actually I, I was thinking about you. I bought this tonight, actually, uh, Jason. This is a peanut butter coffee stout. Um, oh, my gosh. Which uh, just more thinking about the the stouts. I was like, ah, I shouldn't show up with another IPA as my first drink tonight. Um, so I went. You know what? I should actually have a beer tonight because I've been in the mood for uh, I have all these uh, these these uh, bourbon county, this goose island stouts mm-hmm. that I'm cracked into. So, you know, I might grab one of those tonight. I might join you for a beer bill. Sure. Yeah, I had the um the banana foster one that from this year. I had it on a stream um on or as a Patreon hangout on Friday. It was actually surprisingly good for someone that doesn't like banana. It, yeah, it I uh, you know what? Yeah, I might grab that one. That one has been kind of one I've been itching to try. So let me go grab that. I'll be right back. I want to take a quick second to thank our patrons, Mike, Steve, EJ, James Taylor, Martin, and David. And uh, just a reminder to everybody that uh, there is a free trial open, which um, will get you into the $5 tier. So if you want to go check out some of the stuff that we post on Patreon, um, go check it out. I expect that we will be entering a new location very soon, um, assuming I don't kill everybody. I was going to say, that's if we don't die. (laughs) (laughs) Is that heaven? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you think novelists would go to heaven? Yeah, or hell, that's, that's a good point. Some of it, but... Yeah, you've got you got like a you know a table and like a plate with ribs and everything waiting for you down. Oh yeah, no, you got a oh, maid yeah. down that's, there. That's, yeah. Listen, yeah. I will sacrifice heaven for some good barbecue. That's so <laughs> I that out loud. The former I... the former Christian school kid in me is dying right now. You know, they it's did like, it oh. to you. That is a very Where's Carolina thing, though, to, to like, mm. yeah, barbecue. Barbecue, heaven. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> By the way, I mean, I think know, heaven to, would have barbecue. Like, Okay. Um, I think heaven's I think you have barbecue, so you don't have Oh, to heaven's barbecue. definitely going to have. Well, hmm, that's a good question. Oh. I don't mm. know. Vegan hmm. barbecue. <laughs> Asking the important barbecue. questions here. No, no, that's hell. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what if everybody up there is just like vegan? <laughs> the hell it is, right? <laughs> I'm out. Yeah, I was uh, I was totally listening to Limp Biscuits break stuff right before this. I'm uh, kind of getting myself hyped up for tonight's session, um, so I'm eager to get going uh, once Jason gets back with his his beer. But why don't I give you guys a quick little recap of? Um, actually, shoot, was there something else I wanted to bring up tonight? I don't think so. I think we got everything. Oh, uh, yeah, the um, uh, the Boone and Bane system that we have going on here. Last last game that we played, it actually worked out really well. So I figured I'll remind everybody of how this works. So um, long story short, if you want to, you can either bless or curse the party with a Boone or a Bane. Um, if you super chat any amount and uh, give me a suggestion of what you'd like, we'll try to figure out how to make it work. Some of the ones in the past were, you know, like a $5 super chat. It was like give plus forward to somebody's role or something like that um advantage uh give a negative to people's role so feel free to get creative and i'll do my best to make it fit into the game all right um so let's go into the recap (sighs) when last we saw snortimer's soldiers most of the team were exploring the inner hull of the ship trying to discover the whereabouts of a creature that appears to have been spying on them casting illusions and is likely to have stolen the chalice of kings Meanwhile, Nobilis was speaking with the rest of the crew, attempting to learn their greatest fears in an effort to avoid falling victim to those illusions. Or at least so he says. <laughs> Think, <laughs> things seemed to be in control when everyone heard Alessio calling down from the top deck, warning of a sky serpent approaching. Of course. <laughs> Nobilis ran, ran to the top deck and the rest of the group bailed out of the inner hull, emerging to find Alessio in combat with a massive flying snake and several smallish snakes. Venom slickened the deck, several of the group were wrapped up in a massive sonic attack, and Noblis nearly went unconscious while attempting to protect Windrider. The serpent hovered over the side of the ship, about to unleash another sonic attack when Talin stabbed it with, uh, and using her druidic magic properly for once, uh, she caused vines to erupt from the side of the ship. Actually, I'm sorry, that's ranger magic that you used. It's not even your druidic stuff. Ah. <sighs> Oh well. Still Maybe magic and I actually magic. Use, use magic right. properly, which is still good. <laughs> Using her druidic magic or ranger, caused vines to erupt from the side of the ship, wrapping up the serpent in a dangling bag of vines and killing it outright. 
The group pulled the serpent onto the deck and began to slaughter it, acquiring nine scales, a sound gland, which promptly uh, was fashioned into bagpipes for Bartholomew, <laughs> and uh, Alaric, the uh, ship's alchemist, harvested some of its blood as well. Lastly, you uh, took a, a rope and you tied it to the inside hull and lowered it down to the lower deck through uh, some, one of the holes that you had found inside of the hull. So, uh, let me hop over to Foundry. We're going to go back to the living quarters. As you guys are finishing up a short rest, which you had taken right at the end of last, um, last game, now that the Sky Serpent is dead, the crew still has duties to perform and goes back to them, making sure they stick to the buddy system. During your short rest, Milo left the group, uh, left kind of the area to keep uh, up with Windrider up on the top deck. Alaric has gone back down to his laboratory along with Elowin, uh, who's back to tending the plants. Talia and Dr. Everhart are in the kitchen area. Magnus and Serafina went up to the top deck to attend to something in Magnus's quarters. And however, uh, before leaving, Magnus comes up to you, Anomio, with um, the message box that he had, uh, if you remember a couple, a couple sessions ago. It was a box that was capable of sending messages um, long distances. So you had asked for a message to be sent to Tinbrind, and there seems to be a reply. <gasps> yes, yes, tell me, tell me. So he, how, uh, how is my little friend? So Mag <laughs> Magnus hands you a sheet of paper, and it says, Unfortunately, Tinbrind is not here anymore. The whole Wigglytop family traveled back to Hubblehaven when they heard about Halix destroying seaside villages. Tinbrind said he was going to find someone to teach him to fight. It's probably best Hubblehaven is up high and far away from the sea. Good luck on your adventures. And this is signed by Hulkum Evenai, who was the... Uh, bartender at the um, Drunken Seal Inn. Mm. Well, good, good for twerk, Brand. <laughs> so, I am Mag glad he is safe. Magnus, uh, Magnus tells you that uh, he says, uh, if, if there's anybody else that you need to send any messages to, we can, we can send something out tomorrow. Uh, just let me know. I have no, no current need for it. So you let me know and we'll send a message out. All right, Love then he, he's going to head back up to the top deck. All right. What would you all like to do? Well, we still have a poltergeist to hunt. Mm-hmm. Poltergeist. I feel like we all need a drink after that last fight. <laughs> that too. We can do both. <laughs> we, can do, we can do both. A big chug and then head down. The I'm down for a chug. All right. Sure. <laughs> All right. We chug. We chug, then we go. We chug and go. <laughs> chug and go. Chug sure. And go. Uh, so while you guys are having a having a drink, let's say that you're in the uh, kind of the quarters, uh, the main little mess hall. Um, Talia comes up to you and she she uh, looks at you, Nobilis, and the rest of the party, and she says, uh, um, "Alaric was telling me that you guys." took some scales off of the the uh, sky serpent you might want to bring those by turf he's on the uh, cargo cargo hold area um, he might be able to make some use of them it's a sort of use uh, he didn't say but uh, you know the, Alaric was very excited about the the sky serpent's blood and he kind of ran away um, but he, he mentioned that you guys might want to stop by Okay. Is, is the cargo hold area the bottom area that no. we're headed to? So it's actually the level oh, right okay. below you guys. You've spent the least amount of time on that particular area, mostly just walking through it. So no ghosts. Oh, we could, we could stop by there and drop that off with him. Is that guy have a buddy? Is he doing his buddy system thing? Uh, you're not sure? Well, actually, so I think I had mentioned that during the recap. Long story short, yes. Um, yeah. Roland went with him. <sighs> okay, cool. Oh god! So <laughs> when we go down, we can drop those off. Own. <laughs> Roland might try to join us. So uh, maybe we, we save that for after the drink. You know, let's let's enjoy like our party <laughs> time and then. <laughs> sure. Don't have to think so, about big chug, Roland. Drop off the scales and then keep heading down. Uh, so while you guys are drinking, uh, little Grizz jumps up in your lap, Al Al Alessio. And uh, oh. tries to try to lick at your stein, you <laughs> or your your mug. 
My mug. Your mug. Mug o ale. <laughs> All right. Uh, what would you guys like to do? Do you want to do you want to go search the ship or do you want to go to uh, turfs uh, to the cargo hold? It's up to you. Uh, cargo hold. Yeah, cargo hold. Cargo hold. All right. So we will go down to the cargo hold. So we can see if Turf and Roland have seen anything weird ever since the whole hmm. guy serpent Good fight point. thing. Okay. So you guys, uh, you go down to the cargo hold, um, and you're walking past a vault. This is the vault that you were warned about when you first came on the ship. It's uh, There's a large iron door seemingly out of place on this wooden ship. And at the far end of the um, the floor here, the deck, uh, is a long wooden wall with a single small door. Um, small as in like kind of six feet tall or so. Like it's normal person size, but it's just a single person door. And um, it seems closed. Uh, okay. Perhaps we open it. <laughs> so as you approach the door, you hear the vo you hear the voice of Roland inside. It's a little muffled, uh, but he seems to be recanting or or talking or something behind the behind the door. I think we just kind of maybe just knock, let us know we're here. So. Sure. All right, you guys knock and uh, go go through the door. All right. All right. So as you walk through the door, I think I could do this. Yeah, there we go. All right, so as you walk through the door, you see, uh, you hear um, Roland's kind of finishing up a story. He says, and you see, Turf, he was quite the clever fellow he was. Always tinkering with gadgets and gizmos, he tried to make a weather prediction contraption. I, of course, helped him, giving him pointers here and there. Speaking of which, by the way, I think that scale, uh, you should, the tool that you're using, I think you have that back where you might want to... Uh, don't, don't worry about it. All right. Uh, as I was saying, oh hi everybody! Welcome, welcome. I was just helping Turf here out with some tinkering and and being very useful. Isn't that right, Turf? And Turf just keeps working. No, no okay. comment. Yes. <laughs> Nobilis, hi Nobilis. Oh, and and Anomio and uh, everybody else. Welcome, welcome to I, me I and Turf's have workshop. Some of my drink. <laughs> I still have some of my drink, and I walk up to Turf, and I'm like, hey. Do you want the rest of this? Do you <laughs> <laughs> Can I look over at this, like, what looks like to be a giant hole in the ship over here? Uh, sure. Yeah, so there, there is definitely, uh, there has definitely been some damage to the floor in this area, um, and it's been sloppily covered up with some boards in an attempt to maybe hide how bad the damage is, but mm -hmm. if you look through, you can actually see right down to the mid-deck, um, which is kind of where Alaric uh, works. It, you, basically, peeking through, you see a bunch of the uh, plants that are kind of on the side of the, the ship. But at some point, a a hole was blown through the floor. I like to look at Roland and be like, Does it look <laughs> like it blew from above uh, down or from down up? Uh, I'll hold off on the accusations. <laughs> sure. Given, <laughs> given the scorch marks on the ground, you would say something probably was on the floor and exploded. Oh, good times. Oh. So now I can, I can. Okay, I'd like to look at Roland and be like, is this the result of your tinkering? Oh, uh, no, no, what that's... I, I'm actually... And Turf turns around, he says, do not go near near floor. It is... <laughs> it is very dangerous. <laughs> uh, he's a Russian spy. I love it. <laughs> do not go near the floor. This is very dangerous. <laughs> very dangerous. <laughs> and uh, Turf actually walks over. He says, I hear you get scales from from giant giant sky serpent may i see them and uh, uh oh uh that that depends Alessia. that that You're depends what are you what are you uh think you could do with them i have idea for flying flying mechanism to attach to boot i want to see if i can uh, please and and he, he asked roland roland can i please see one of your boots I know me. interested in this. He, as long as he's the first test subject, so, I'm very happy. <laughs> Roland does actually look a little. There's certainly room for you to volunteer if you'd prefer. Oh no, Roland can give up his boot. I just want to see what happens. <laughs> All right, fair <laughs> enough. Uh, so Roland, Roland, uh, he you know slowly <laughs> takes one of his boots off and he says, "The turf looks over you now for scale. You give scale." 
Okay, so I think I have one. I give him. So, I give him. A, I give him a couple scales. So you guys had or, collectively coll uh, gotten nine of them. Um, all right. Yeah. So, yeah. how many do you need, Turf? Uh, just just one per shoe. One per shoe. And right. uh, so he takes he takes the the scale and he walks back to his uh, his table over here. Roland kind of peeks over his shoulder, like way too close. He's like hovering right over his shoulder, and um, he's uh, you know like uh, you uh, sorry <laughs> voices are getting confused. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was about to be a really loud Russian. <laughs> so, <laughs> I like to uh, I like to attack Bruce Willis at Nakatomi Plaza. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, Roland Roland kind of says, "Now you you want to flip that scale over? It's it's better for the aerodynamics of the scale." <laughs> for, yes, uh, and and turfs, please get away from my shoulder. This is not. <laughs> You do not belong, uh, and he kind of pushes him back. So, um, Turf works on the boot for just a moment, and then he, he turns it around, and he kind of holds it out in front of him, and he lets it go, and you see that the boot just hovers in the air. Ooh. It works. It works well. You you try, Roland. And he Roland puts on the boot, and uh, he kind of goes to take a step as if stepping onto a, a stair, and he, like, lifts up as if he'd stepped on a stair that wasn't there. And uh, Turf explains that this is, uh, he's going to call this a arrow scale. And these arrow scales, he could attach one to each shoe and they will allow you to levitate and or fly within 50 feet of the ship. Um, they work using the same uh, magic that is coming from the, the plants that are growing within the ship. <clears throat> so he's, he says, would you like me to attach them to your boots? Yes. Uh, Which, how many do we have? We have four of you us. So you have you have nine scales, and there's four of you. So, um, so we well, gave him... you have eight scales now. <laughs> yes, yeah, so there's two, four, six. Yeah, yes, rock yes. and roll. Yeah, let's do this. Let's go levitate. Let's fly, baby. Awesome. So you all will have uh, arrow scales in your inventory if you can. Well, you will in just a moment. Um, if you could take a sec to equip them, uh, if they Go didn't, back down. it's under your equipment, I believe. Yeah, under your equipment. If you right click on it and equip it, you will now notice that you have a fly speed. Cool. How do you get back down? Like with the boot? Uh, so How it's do you step down? it's basically. Uh, that's a good question. Um, possibly one that I've absolutely thought of. Uh, <laughs> so you you basically can just do it. It's a fly. Like you, they'll go where you want. You kind of figure them out as you fiddle with them. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is I all. This fly. is all very scientific. I fly. fly <laughs> I'm like I have lots of questions. <laughs> I, know. Fly, I should have expected that from you. 20, so if it says fly twenty. I can move yes. twenty spaces, or that's, that's so. Let me. Is. So this is actually something worth explaining. So. If you think about your full movement speed, so let's let's take a Nomeo for a moment. He has a 25 mm -hmm. foot movement speed and a 20 foot fly slash hover, which means that he could walk five feet and then fly 20 or fly 20 and then walk five. Um, but you could not fly 25 just because you have a speed of 25. It's you can only move up to the max that that particular attribute has are we gonna have to like use the pythagorean theorem here? no like, so that's a very good question that go is, up on the iPod. that's that's <laughs> literally in the dungeon master's guide and it pretty much is like don't worry about it <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> like pretty much like, do, oh my your, God, it'll do your best be useful again <laughs> yeah do your do your best and we'll we'll make it work okay so um turf uh turf thanks you for the opportunity to invent something new um, and then he looks at Roland. He says, "Roland, give boot back." And he he peels the arrow arrow scale off the bottom. He says, "I keep this. This this is my payment. This will be for me." <laughs> Seems fair. So, and then uh, Roland actually funnier would be to peel it off of Roland's boot while Roland is in the air, and then Roland falls <laughs> to the floor. <laughs> so I'm. So I'm... he's already <laughs> he's already attached these and put them onto our boots and everything. Correct. We've equipped them. Yeah. Yep. Um, and so, like, we can step up, and then, like, all of our future actions, I could be tall. You could be tall if you'd like to, as long as you're on the <laughs> on the um, like you on just the ship. stay hovered at say yes. like five feet off the ground, and then 
until I'm next to everybody else. Until I realize that I've made uh, a yeah, grave mistake, show. that is how they will work. <laughs> that sucks. I immediately okay. I'm doing that. I immediately fly over fly over onto yep. the table. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> any any snake I see, I'm just hovering now. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. You'll be right out of their right out of their reach. <laughs> my eye snake. I'm good. <laughs> the flying ones that we just faced. Yeah, until yeah, exactly. Uh, he yeah. Does, yeah, he does incorporate well, fly flying snakes. It is it is Dungeons and Dragons. So. I will say you on, you only got these boots because you guys thought to skin the thing. It was perfect. So nice. <laughs> yeah. All right. So um so turf uh, kind of talks to you guys for just a minute. He says, "What will you do next? Where, where are you? Will you fight? Uh, where are you going next?" We need to uh, we need to check out the bottom part of the ship. There's been some, mm -hmm. let's just say, unusual activity. The well, unusual can anybody list. remind me what what we were told about the vault when we? Uh, pretty much just it, like especially when Magnus didn't know whether to trust you or not. He basically said, don't let me catch you trying to get into the vault. That was it. Mm -hmm. I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, is there a vault him. Is there a vault on the ship? Yes, so... Yeah. Um, on this, uh, we just walked by it to get to turf. Yeah, oh, it's, okay. it's over here. Oh, that is the vault? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can't see into it. Oh. And that door is definitely going to be locked. <laughs> Doesn't mean you can't try <laughs> to break into it. Just saying that it might not, you know... You were warned. Hmm. Well, let's go find the little ship gremlin. Grimma, gremlin. Yes. Psychic gremlin. All right. Um, cool. Uh, right before you leave, uh, Turf says, Roland, no. you'll want to go with your new friends? You go with your new friends. Nope. Oh, nope. That, no, no, that's no, 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 buddy system. Would you? Uh, we're the other can't, door. We're already gone. System sorry. System of buddies. Buddy system. Can't risk it. Sorry. Can't risk it. Too, such a shame. Oh, yeah. that, that's a shame. that's a great point, new friends. This is very. I will stay here and I will accompany Turf and make sure that everything he needs is is pointed out to him and explained. And this will be perfect for him and me. We'll both learn something. <laughs> Lovely. So. I, I did give Turf the rest of my drink to, to make up for <laughs> to beat him with Roland stuff. So. Uh, but also, Roland, I mean, Turf, before we go, uh, you got any, like, cool weapons we could borrow real quick just while we... Any, like, little fun inventions that, that you've been playing around with that you want us to test out while we go after this gremlin dude? Hmm. Just to check. Good question. Uh, one sec. That I did have... Question. I did have something under turf. Let's see what I wrote down. Excuse me. <laughs> Give me just a moment. Uh, also, if it's untested, I say a Nomeo tries it. Yeah, I was like, I'm not, I'm not going to get those. <laughs> so he he has some things, but nothing that would be applicable to to anything you guys are doing. Um, this is okay. this right here is probably the best thing that he could offer you. Is the the boots? Wait. No, uh, we're going. I think we're gonna. We're ready to go. Okay. However, I, I I would like to just kind of um, walk by the vault again, mm -hmm. just real quick. I'm not saying I want to break in, but I just want to. <laughs> I'm just gonna say to the group, I just I just wanna, let's go walk by that vault. I'm just curious about you know how formidable that door may be, if we do want to maybe try to take a look at some point. But really, I want to see if my ring tightens up, and uh. see if maybe my uh, yeah. My uh, my chalice is in there. Sure. Um, okay. Uh, so you are currently in front of the. So you you walk back out. You're standing in front of this door. It's a heavy iron door. Um, it's got these kind of. You know. Do you know what wainscoting is? It's like the yeah. squares that you see. Yeah. So it's it's kind of got wainscoting um, in four different sections on the front of the door, and uh, almost embossed. And in each different one, there's a, a very a different picture that you would recognize as a symbol of the four major dwarven keeps in the world. Um, so there is something very dwarvish about this, <laughs> um, but also it's a formidable door. Um, roll investigation for me. Okay. Investigation. Uh, got it. Oh, good. This rolls uh, back the same way again. 
<laughs> still, uh, and it's still a shitty roll, though. But yeah. All right. Oh, the, the roll's back <laughs> I mean, to the same. That's, it's, that's... Yeah, like I like you, if you click in and then just hit normal roll, it does it. I don't have to go like to the other menu. To oh, roll like it. in a good way. Okay, I thought you yeah. meant. Okay, yeah, no, I fixed it, that at the end it, of the last yeah, game, and I was worried it reverted. Um, okay, so with a six, so you look at this, and, and you do kind of, as you said, you're you're mostly feeling for your ring. Your ring does not seem to tighten with this at all. Um, okay. But it, looking at the lock, uh, you kind of can recognize some of the mechanisms. Like, this would be a very difficult lock to pick. Um, there might be some magical elements to it as well. You, with a six, you're not quite sure. But it wouldn't be unusual for a door this heavy to have more than just a mechanical lock. Oh, okay. So there's other genius mechanisms at work here. Potentially, with a six. <laughs> so, <laughs> with a, with a six. You could be totally as wrong. As you know. <laughs> you are so confident that that door is locked. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, like, right. it's like swinging open. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right, I got you. Cool. Um, so, you guys head off to the lower deck. So let's yeah. bring you down there. Uh oh, the music changed. Uh, yeah, the, I know. It's it's just been very going. ominous. Yes, very ominous. So the darkness of the lower deck is becoming a bit more familiar to you, all except for the slight sound of whimpering that you hear. So you whimpering. hear uh, whimpering, yeah. Uh oh. Like doesn't, human it doesn't, or like an animal? It sound uh, you're not quite uh, yeah, actually you know what? Let's let's do two things. Everybody roll stealth. And then Noblis, I'd also like you to roll a perception for me. Alright. Stealth for me is a ooh, it's not letting eighteen. Okay. Twenty three. Ooh, nice job, Nat twenty. Oh, here comes the stealth monster. Ooh. Twenty nine. Yeah. Everybody, wow. <laughs> everybody rolled well on their stealth. Oh, and then, except I should have rolled with disadvantage. So take the lower of these two rolls. Okay. And my perception was fourteen. Oh, oh no. there we go. Oh, oh, four. Oh. Four. <laughs> All right. Um, and you're pretty. Go. That's, that's about right. So. Uh, Hello, oh. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Bartholomew just starts playing the bagpipes. <laughs> 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 all right um we all just give you the eye <laughs> so to answer your question so a 14 novelist is high enough to answer your question it it seems like a combination of both um you wouldn't say this is like a human but it's definitely not like a animal whimpering as if like a dog um but it's not a human crying either it's something in between i, should have, I forgot we're in D and D. I should have said human that's very specific a uh, humanoid humanoid is is uh what i took <laughs> okay, that to mean okay. that's okay yeah um Same however like. with your four <laughs> <How> racist, <laughs> so uh. anomio in all seriousness with rolling a four how do you make noise what what happens what what blows your cover uh i am creeping along very <laughs> very stealthily very stealthily and then i trip over a floor, floorboard and bartholomew falls out of my pack and goes clank a clank a clank a clank and then <laughs> and then starts singing uh hello my baby hello my darling so as you he even hear booker sigh at that. <laughs> booker takes his paw and goes mm. <laughs> 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 yeah oh. um so, so the three of you, not a no, not a Nomeo, come down the stairs first. You start hearing this whimpering, and as Novelist kind of holds his ear out to really tell what it is, all of that happens behind you. Um, at which point the whimpering stops. Uh oh. And you see the floorboards beneath you start to crack, and then suddenly they start to rot from beneath your feet. Well, that's less than ideal. Well, that sounds like bull. I throw a rock and see if it's fine. Where are you getting? Where are you getting a rock? <laughs> yeah, where, you where's the rock coming? In your pocket. <laughs> Everybody's rocking their pocket. Just at all times. <laughs> pocket sand. <laughs> yeah, <exactly>. <laughs> <laughs> pocket rock. Um, uh, I I would honestly I would say unless you specifically had something on you to throw I don't think there's anything within your reach for you to grab. 
Yeah, I'm trying to find something to throw. It would actually be heavy enough to mean anything. Yeah. Okay. Just got a couple seconds here. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, it's not me anymore. Hmm? Are you doing something, Talon? No, 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 I, oh, I got okay. nothing. So I got oh, a no, heavy okay. object that That's I'm fine. willing to throw. I was All looking. Right. So the, oh. the, fl the floorboards beneath you start to reveal the sky below your feet. Oh. Oh, oh well, I, good thing we can so, fly. So these are the floorboards we're standing on or the ones Correct. at the yes. end of our step? It's as if the yeah. floorboards beneath your feet are starting to rot away. And and the longer you stand here, the less and less there is to stand on. Oh, my God. So I, I kind of go, everybody, okay. everybody run. <laughs> so we kind of run. Maybe towards We've this got a little hover boots. Yeah, we got hover boots. hover boots. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Activate, activate yeah. boots. <laughs> yeah. I, right? I jump down and, like, stomp on the the ground, the floorboards to see if they, whatever. Because I yep. know that if they do yeah. actually rot away underneath me, I'll hover so, up. Are we you on the bottom floor of the boat, hold, hold, You are on the, on the lowest deck, yes. Okay. Excuse me. So as you s jump up and stomp onto the ground... Many of the boards beneath your feet fall away, and you feel your boots kick in while as you start to float. However, Booker is not wearing anything like your boots, and he is standing Booker right next to you. Booker is up on the stairs still. Did you just uh, kill Booker? He's on the Adriana? stairs. Booker's right next to you. He's on the stairs. Oh, come he's on. He's on the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> he said no, 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 we were no. on the stairs, and that the boards were there, and that we could, we're about to like step down onto these boards that were going to fall apart underneath us. You better swoop down and grab them. <laughs> So as I was saying, so Booker starts to Booker starts to fall through the hole in the in the in the oh, base geez. of the the ship. I dive down and grab Booker. All right. <laughs> so at the moment this this red circle here is is dangerous territory. You guys are basically floating above it. Um you do grab Booker and he he looks at you questionably and as you think you're grabbing him, you kind of look up and you see that he's standing on firm ground. There's nothing, <laughs> nothing at all happened here. <laughs> and the ground, what? as as you realize it, the ground kind of reforms back below your feet. You realize it was an illusion. Even upon interaction. It... Even upon interaction. Yes. Oh. So. Interaction? Well, my notes from before said with interaction that it didn't. Well, the last well. times we were attacking things. Hmm. Maybe there's a difference. Hmm. I, so, look, if you jump onto somebody's face, I would call that attacking it. Okay, like, but you didn't jump on someone's face. You jumped I, on some I, boards. There's it, different. It was the board's there. face. <laughs> the I board's face. <laughs> you hear you hear a voice uh, slightly to your side coming from within one of the um, the cells to your left, and it's the voice of you definitely recognize it. It's Felicity Gearspark, um, oh. and you hear her saying, "Hey, get me out of here! I how did I get in here?" And, uh, Wait, are there bars? There are bars. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm gonna float over to here. Okay. And mm -hmm. do I? I see her wherever she is. So currently, you don't see her. So she's not in the first two cells. Um, she's she's in the last cell. Oh, she's in the last cell. Okay. Yep. Hi, Felicity. So, so you see her, and oh. she she says, "Anomio, how did I get here? What is, what is happening?" I don't know, but I have a surefire way of knowing whether I can let you out or not. I'm very sorry about this, but you're gonna to have to let me punch you in the face. I, I don't want that at all. No. I'm sorry, what? but let's just let's find out. <laughs> all right, good. <laughs> roll, <laughs> un, roll, roll an there, unarmed attack. Wait, before you. No, he's doing it. There's They're no... just assaulting people. Dang. I, I mean, if she turns out she's she, if she turns out she's not, uh, you know, it's fine. Wait, where is my unarmed attack? Thunder. This is Beaches. who you're pun this cute little pink haired gnome just punch her right in the face. <laughs> I was gonna tickle her. <laughs> That's uh, you're not there. Freaking Anomio acted. Where right. is my It's under inventory, oh, I think. Is. It's under yeah. inventory. I don't know why I thought Which it doesn't make inventory. any sense, but you know yeah. these hands are <laughs> tools. <laughs> tools of destruction. I packed my hands today. <laughs> <laughs> right. Alright, so a fifteen will just hit. 
Um, so right through the bars, you kind of just jab her right in the face, and she she backs up. You definitely connect with something, and she she grabs her face. What the hell? How much damage did you do? Uh, eight. Eight points of damage. All right. So uh, she uh, you, does she have like a cut or bleeding you, or bleeding? you uh you you su- well did you get her in the nose or did you get her in the eye? You jabbed uh, her th- straight through the bar, so you hit one of the just, two. Yeah, I just popped her in the nose, just little donk. All right, so you see her grabbing her nose, and there's like a gush of blood starting to stream out from beneath her, her hand. Okay, so and, damage, so she's real. All right, she's real. Oh, hey, congratulations, Felicity. You are real. Worth it. I <laughs> could have told you that if you just asked, but how can you get me out of here? Uh, Why maybe? are you in here? Alessio? Uh, well, obviously, I gotta try the door first. Is it locked? Uh, I the door, locked. the door is locked. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll give it a go. All right. What? Why uh, is she in there? Who put her in there? Oh yeah, that was gonna be my next question. Who who put her in there? I don't know. I just appeared in here. I don't understand. You, you appeared in there? Yeah. After oh, the after after the that's... the serpent fight, <laughs> I I went back up to the top deck to to go you know help steer the ship. And the next thing I knew, I was in here. No, me, I'll punch her again. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I punched her once. That's that's enough. All right, well, that's concerning. Um, okay, I'll, I'll try to get you out of there right now. So. All right. All right, so I try to use my... Uh, let's see, do I have my... Do I have to use my 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 uh, picking kit for this, or you, you certainly should. Um, Is yeah. it my thieves' tools, right? It's been a while. Thieves' tools. Yep. Yep. Got it. Thieves' tools. All right. So I use my thieves' tools. Okay. Try to open the door. Do I need to roll for anything? Uh, just click on the little dice next to the thieves' tools. Okay. It'll take care of it all for you. Uh, click the use so thieves' legitimate tools. Legitimate question: While he rolls for that. Hmm. Legitimate question while he rolls for that because it's something we would know. 20. When we saw the one chick on fire, Sarah. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. Cool. When we saw Serafina on fire. Yep. Could we smell like smoke? The you smell of. You was certainly there did. A smell yep. from that illusion. There was a there okay. was a smell for sure. Yep. Yep. Um, with a twenty, so you pop the lock and open the door, and uh, Felicity is kind of backing away a little bit because you just punched her in the face, Sonomia. <laughs> Um, <laughs> and, Only and she, a little. It, she, it was just to make sure she was real. So, um, as you open the door, <clears throat> the ship starts to list to the side. Uh, a few of the crates actually move along the uh, the side of the. Um, oops, that crate probably shouldn't move. Um, a few of the crates start to move to the side. And Nobilis, I'd like you to make a dexterity th- saving throw. What? How am I involved with this? Oh, well, because the the crate right to your south uh, started uh, sliding towards you. It's an easy dex save, but you know it's well, a heavy I was crate. Say, listen, I'm I'm pretty pretty good at that. So let's this see. I could have sworn I. Hmm. Sixteen. 16. I think I know. Uh, give me. So you you're able to save. You're able to dive out of the way. Um. So you managed to dive out of the way of this uh this crate that's sliding towards you, and Talin and Booker. It's uh sliding towards you guys as well. But at the moment you're you're far enough away. You're able to move out of the way. Um. And as this, as the ship and all of the crates start to slide to the side, you see this small little creature. Mm. Oh up boy. in front of you actually Nomio and Alessio you guys are probably the only ones that can see it and it's it's cowering it's kind of hunched down it's got its these long knees with these long legs it's got its he- hands kind of covering its head and it's got this one gigantic eye in the center of its face and uh here is what it looks is it like just scared and doing this to protect so itself? this is oh what it God. looks like it's a fucking um, melting cyclops oh this boy. is this is known as a nothic uh, for those of you playing at home. And uh, it's this hunched gr- over grotesque creature. Its body is twisted and malformed. It's got these spikes extruding from just all different areas of its body, um, mostly out of its back and both of its arms. And uh, it's visibly shaking as if it's either stressed or exhausted or scared. Oh. 
I know. I was definitely thinking this thing was gonna be way meaner. Guys, okay. don't don't think it's not mean yet. Just approach with caution. Don't be like, oh, I want to take you home just yet. <laughs> mm, that's fair. Just say it. Maybe we can handle Wait. it without. All right. Colin is watching it to death. This is not Booker. It is a little bit scary looking than that. I don't know. But so, listen to a whimper. Felicity. Booker, what's. Go ahead. What's Booker doing? I was just wondering what Booker, like, as an animal and how he's sensing its vibes and everything. Uh, why don't you roll his, perception, like, for roll, roll, roll oh, some, uh, perception for Booker? Roll perception for Booker. That's kind of cool. Uh, what do I add to that? And I'm just going to roll it with actual dice. Uh, uh, so go ahead and roll your d20 and I'll let you know in a sec. Uh, perception. Actually, nothing. Uh, um, so he has a plus zero for that. That can't be right. Well, he no, he has a plus. Two, he has a, so... he has a plus two. Yeah, well, so the four. Booker is currently hunched, like he's more protecting you than necessarily paying attention to okay. to what's ahead of you. Um, so Felicity, she you see Felicity, she grabs her ears and she says, "Do you hear the voices? Do you hear the voices?" Uh -oh. And all of you, Felicity out of here. You you start to hear voices inside your head too. They're kind of like these echoey shadows of a. <sighs> like that and then you hear you have come here to hurt me you can't have it you can't have it you can't have it i'd like everybody to roll initiative oh no oh. <laughs> see uh, bartholomew nice pops way. out and starts playing randy orton's theme song i hear voices in my head they call to me they understand they call to me <laughs> <laughs> was I this bartholomew again <laughs> Bard oh, not, uh, yeah, Bard Bartholomew, Bard Mhm. Mm yes. <laughs> I like Bartholomew. All Bard. right, initiative. Yes. Oy, oy, oy. Mm. And Anomio waiting on you. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. All right, so let's put on some battle music. Yeah. All right, so the Nothic stands up um actually nothing's gonna go first which is super appropriate nothing's gonna stand up and even at its tallest it's still hunched over probably about five and a half feet tall it's got these long spindly arms with these very long claws at the end of each one of them and the nothing mm. is going to actually the nothing is going to run over and jump up on top of um one of the ballast containers and you're going to see he's going to take both of his hands and he's going to plunge them into the ground uh, below him. And you're going to see that there is these two massive hands that erupt from the ground. Um, oh. Splintering boards and everything. These things raise up and uh, are kind of standing with their, or yeah, standing with their wrists right at the, the baseboards. Um, and they're going to start moving around. Nothing. I mean, nothing. <laughs> uh, Novelist, you're up first. <laughs> All right. So, can I see this happening? It seems to be a little far away, but I would say you hear it more than see it. Um, you certainly wouldn't have seen where the Nothic went, uh, but you probably actually you would not see where either one of these hands go. And actually, for the sake of using oh. your imagination, um, these hands are about the same size as the crates, if not slightly bigger. But they're certainly able to hide behind them. Um, yeah. However, to make things cooler, I made the crates movable. Um, so pretend that oh. you can't see behind the crates for what it's worth. Okay. Sure. <laughs> so I'm gonna um, start my levitation power. I'm gonna go up to pretty much to the ceiling. About how tall is this bill? Uh, so probably about probably about eight feet tall. It's not super tall. Uh, okay. No, that's that's not true. I'd say ten feet tall. Probably it's okay. it's about one and a half times your height. So. Not you, uh, oh. Adriana. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go... Like five go times my height. Yeah, right. Yeah, basically <laughs> about here, just hovering over this box that's opened. Okay. Cool. Um, and can I still not see anything from there? Uh, from there, so you, you're able to see some of the fingers kind of just tw going like this right above the boxes. They're, they are anticipating whatever is coming, and they are constantly moving. Oh, boy. Uh, can I just blast that direction towards the boxes in front of it? My uh, my Eldritch Blast? 
Sure. Ping on the map where you're trying to shoot. Just so I know which one it is. I don't know how to... Ooh, how do I do that? Uh, just hold down. Like, find a place on the map and click and hold. There. All right. So you're going for the lower one. Okay. Actually, to make this easier, I will... There's no reason that you guys can't know that one is a left hand and one is a right hand. Um, so I'm going to show their names here. Is one crazy hand and one master hand? Oh, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I am All a right, fan so of Smash Bros. Blast the box and see what, see if I can maybe like blow it up so it doesn't have sure. any cover to hide them. All right, so you might not be able to actually do this based off some of the rules, but try to roll your Eldritch Blast. It will probably just target the left hand. Okay. The left hand being behind the box currently has a higher DC than it normally would because um, it's fully hidden, um, but that's okay. You're you, like you said, you're trying to blow up the box. All right, let's go. Mm. Uh, 31. <laughs> a natural nice. 20. Well, uh, with a natural 20, you uh, like destroy this box. And, uh, and because <laughs> of you, your, your incredible roll, I'm going to let you hit the left hand as well. So go ahead and roll damage. Oh, wow. Okay. You, uh, you get just the right vantage point while you're hovering in the air. Um, Is that the that, critical button? I don't have a damage button. I have a critical button. Uh, yeah, go critical. Yep. Uh, 11. Okay. Uh, so 11 damage to the left hand. All okay. right, and then I got my second. Can I use a, um, can I use a spell before my second blast? Um, only if or it's a bonus action. Either. Only if it's a bonus, a bonus action, you said? Yep. Yep. Okay. Gotcha. Um, oh, it is. Okay. Awesome. Um, I'm going to put the hex, put a hex mm. on him, and I'd like to target, let me see, one of his um, disadvantage on an ability check. I would say, I don't know, the giant eyes, like, creep me out. Um, <laughs> He's just out of your range. Oh, the, the giant hand eye creeps you out? Who would have thunk? <laughs> so it's, it's <laughs> your range on hex is 90 feet, and he's just out of your range. Oh, okay, um, okay, never mind. And I, I think you probably, you, you could probably get a little closer if you wanted to, but it's up to you. Um, no, think, I'll, I'll wait. Yeah. Also, I've already moved, so I don't want to, I don't want to okay. cheat. So. Cool. <laughs> but I still have another Eldritch Blast, so sure. no worries there. Let's get him again. All right. All right, let's go. Ooh. All right. 14. A, a 14 will not hit. All right. So you, uh, no, you no, blow no. apart this box and just nail the left hand kind of right. Now you notice, actually, now that you've got a good visual of these hands each hand has a gigantic eyeball right in the center of it as well oh. um and you 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 do hit but it doesn't like damage the eyeball or anything like that you manage to kind of hit right among its uh its fleshy bits <laughs> can i just say I that this photo. <laughs> the worst part of this is that it's like hairy but the hair is made of flesh <laughs> yes it sure is <laughs> yeah no that's really I, that's really nasty i, I don't like that at all backwards. i the fingers I, are like good <laughs> i probably uh generated about 30 different images trying to make this the way i wanted it to look um so i'm i'm very happy that you like it <laughs> so, i don't right. like it I don't you like don't it like all. it all right good then i'm gonna i'm gonna pick on <laughs> you first I, I yeah no it is it is disturbing <laughs> that's pretty Any, uh that's pretty gut-wrenching right there <laughs> anything else novelist um no i don't have any movement or anything left so i think i'm just gonna hang out here all right excellent uh so the right hand is going to um let's see what what did i give it for a movement so it's not going to be able to make it to you. Um, but what it can do is pick up one of these boxes and hurl it at you. Uh, Anomio, I think you're probably the only one it can hit. So it's oh going boy. to throw the box at you. Um, I'd like you to make a dexterity saving throw. Will do. I roll a 11. An 11 is not going to do it. Um, ah, boy. Uh, ah, boy. So you are going to take 14 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. All right. All right. So not terrible. Um, and the box is going to uh, kind of shatter at your feet and also... Cool. Um, so this right hand is going to use its movement um, and it's going to dive back below the deck and disappear. Oh, you little stinker. Before taking its actual movement. Okay. Um, so now, Alessio, you are up. 
All right. Um, man. Oh my God. I, I just saw that image again. This thing's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of cool evolutionarily. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is that, is that? The the eye looks like a rotting. <laughs> yeah, like being able to see through like your extended oh senses. I, I would say, listen, eyeballs freak me out more than anything. Like I have some phobias, and I feel like eyeballs are my biggest Ooh. phobia. So like I shouldn't have told you that just now, but well, no, I'm, so, I'm, I'm, I'm glad yeah, you now told me. Now there's going to be more of that. No, so. I, I would say probably less of it, but you know that's okay. Okay. All good, right. So good. what are you what are you doing, Alessia? Um. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get a shot at this left hand. Okay. Um. So what I do is I kind of, so I'm going to take a step here and I'm going to use my boots to kind of fly up and land right here on this box. Okay. And I'm going to actually use my short bow and I'm going to try to aim for the eye right in the middle of the hand. Okay, cool. Go for it. Now, okay. to be, while you're rolling, I want you to know. So, if you're making a targeted attack at a very specific location on an enemy, it raises okay. the DC, uh, raises the its AC slightly, or you know, it's it's slightly harder to hit, but it will have the effect that you're hoping for if you I, do hit. Yeah. So, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna try for the shot here. Sure. Okay. Here we go. I, Come on, give me something good. That oh, did not do it. It's a right. 12. Uh, 12 will not hit. So you, you take yeah. a shot and it, it skitters across the ground. Damn it. <laughs> um, all right, as far as let's see here. Yeah, I'm not now so I could be right here. Um, this, this music always reminds me of Metroid. Um, <laughs> it's like one of the one of the levels I can't remember like Brinstar maybe no not Brinstar the the lava one <laughs> anyway go ahead uh yeah no I just um I yeah as as my bonus action I just kind of jump off and get behind the box there that's it okay cool so you're back down on the ground okay yeah cool yeah all right Talin you're up and Anomio you're on deck okay uh quick question yep often I ride booker with my boots can they lift the both of us especially with me being no. so small they, they work more <laughs> like uh like stepping uh, as if there was no as if there was a place okay. to step yeah so yeah yeah uh not like super important for this part but no it's okay uh so i'm i'm gonna ride booker <laughs> so that i can get further <laughs> no that makes sense that's Over, that's great uh uh, and then I am curious of, you know, I've been collecting all these books and trying to learn stuff or whatever. Can I mm -hmm. just do like a, a, a check to see if I can, I know anything from my studies about these and if so, there's something we can do to help it feel safe or what it might care about and be protecting? So because you have proficiency in Arcana, I will let you roll this. Um, so roll an Arcana check for me. Nice. This, this was not in your Underdark book. Just so you know, but this is to see yeah, if you've yeah. ever come across this. Yeah, I know. Like that thing. creature was not actually in that, but yeah. yeah. Nothing would make me happier wow. than to tell you all about this creature. Ooh, and it looks like I'm gonna get to twenty-four. So Nothics are—they are wizards who basically delved a little too deep in their knowledge, and they became so obsessed with magical items and magical knowledge that they actually became their a corrupted version of kind of like their own greed for knowledge if that if that makes any sense and they basically became this mindless <laughs> slave to always trying to find some new knowledge some new information some new magical item and uh hmm. you with your 24 i would i would wager given that you know that alessio's um the chalice is gone this thing almost definitely took it as a method of getting more magical items for itself yeah. little so. stinker yeah. <laughs> I think it's protecting a magical item and it's word that we're trying to take it from it. Uh, oh. and it's a wizard. Do you say that out loud? Oh, cool. Like uh, are you yelling that no, to people? I was just or? sort of recapping <clears throat> okay. my, my notes. Um, I think, well, a, is that my action? 
Nah, that's okay. Okay, yeah, I just wasn't. I mean, I'm still kind of too far away to do. I'm trying to think of something. One thing I was thinking about doing was uh, getting some pork from Anomia <laughs> and seeing if we can try to, like. Aren't we all? Not that kind of pork. <laughs> See, we like bait it. And, you know, like, convince it. We're just. We're right back, guys. Hold on. We're, <laughs> we're friendly. We're like wanting to help, maybe, and not make things worse. Or at least I am. Whatever I'm you always want. happy uh, to give away pork. And I'm right next to an Anomio. Can you hand me some pork? Mm. Yeah. I will rip out. Uh, what are we thinking? Like spare ribs? Or, or yeah, yeah. Coin? I think that'd be perfect. Spare ribs. Yeah. All right, sure. Free action, so, no problem. So you grab some spare ribs. You you take them from Anomia. Sweet, and I throw it at the part of the creature that I can see, which I think is the left hand. Okay. Like, uh, we don't want to take anything from you. We just want to help you. Sure. Um. So you you grab these. You sorry. You said spare ribs. So you grab some spare ribs. You throw yes. them towards the left hand. Um, they do not seem to be at all interested, or at least the hand doesn't. Man, you don't bite the hand that can't see the other part of this creature. Hmm? Okay. Oh, so he has no mouth. How is it going to eat them? <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, but, so right. the hand, the hands came from the Nothic, right? Yeah, yeah. Like their yeah. extensions or whatever. Yeah. I love that you tried I'm something and you're upset uses... that it didn't work and you're trying to convince me that it should no, work. No, no, more of just like... <laughs> no, but it's him. Eat it, <laughs> it's but it's big. what like gathers food for its yeah. main part of its body. That's fine. Like, okay. Yeah, no, it was a good idea. I mean, just, uh, it just didn't work. <laughs> yeah. All right, anything else? Tell uh, that's that... where we're at. Do, do, do. That was definitely your nope, action. That All is, right. yeah, that is it for me. All right, cool. Uh, Anomio, what's up? I will dash boldly forward. Fantastic. As I do. Mm -hmm. Ha ha! Run, 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 run. I have finally gotten face to face with that little annoying. Gerberlin, who has been in our dreams. <laughs> yes, you you could uh, you could just barely see him. So he's up above you, um, probably probably only about six feet up high is this box that's holding all the ballast. So if you were to have used your boots, if you want to, you could get kind of eye level with him. It's up to you. I'll just pop up at him and be like, "Well, actually, it's not this. It's <laughs> hmm? oh, I missed that." But that's <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> okay, but yeah, that's, uh, uh, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to, yeah, run up and, and taunt him. All right, as so, I do. so tell me, did you end up using your boots to go up or no? Oh, yeah, yeah. I float up and look at him. Okay, so you're about eye level with him. Cool. All right. Yeah. Um, and next up is Felicity. Uh, so Felicity is actually, she's going to kind of like run out of here. Um, and she's going to say... What what do you guys want me to do? Should I stay and fight or or get out of here? Uh, you can fight, stay and fight. Yeah. <laughs> really? Oh, okay. All right. All right. That's all right. Cool too. Sure. I mean, you've uh, already taken nine of her hit points. What what's a little more? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, but that was for. Oh, you're just feeling bad because you well, punched her. A little yeah. bit, maybe, maybe. If she hadn't That's been fair. real, though, I wouldn't feel bad. So you know, fifty fifty. <laughs> All right, uh, so she is going to use, so how much, so she's got uh, the 30 feet of movement, so she's 10, she's going to go over here, um, whoops, sorry, she's going to go about here next to you, Alessio, and this has a range of 60 feet, okay. Alessio poker. So she is going to toss a bomb, whoops, oh. I didn't. She's gonna throw. Oh, so she's gonna toss herself. So, <laughs> right, right. so she's got like kind of a little hand grenade. Um, she says, "I can't do much, but I can certainly do this." And she tosses a hand grenade uh, right at the left hand, doing actually she just barely hits it for thirteen points of damage. Um, and uh, you see this little like uh, fragmented grenade just pretty much blow up right at the base of the hand, just all these little shards of metal embedding in it. Um, and she's like, "Well, that was that was about all I had. <laughs> I think I'll okay. probably get, probably get out of here." <laughs> and uh, on her next turn, she's probably, she's gonna probably run away. <laughs> I kind of I look at Felicity. I go, 
nice throw. Now get out. Now get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It reminds me of like a Final Fantasy character, like whose whose move is like you call them in and something, and they just run up, throw the grenade, and run right. back. Out. <laughs> totally yeah. like a like a summon, like a the chick. Yeah. Chocobo. Yeah. One of the useless ones though. All right. So uh, the the left hand is gonna use its thirty feet of movement to get. Let's see. Is it ten feet away? Oh, it's fifteen feet away. Ah, oh, I can't do anything. Um. So it is going to. Actually, that's pretty much going to be it. What, what else can I do? Um, <laughs> what else can I do? Damn it. No, I only have... Uh, all right. I can't do anything with the left hand at the moment. All right. Up next is the Nothic. Um, so the Nothic is going to use its rotting gaze at you, Anomio. Um, after seeing it, you taunt it with this. It's going to taunt it right back. And it's going to oh, use boy. its rotting gaze at you. Uh, it needs you to roll a... Constitution saving throw. Okay, can do. I wish I had that on public because it rolled a whole lot of dice. I'm interested to see how. You... Ooh, hoo, hoo. All right, so it's going to do 20 <laughs> 25 points of necrotic damage oh, to you. Oh, that <laughs> sucks. <laughs> um, uh, I might, I might need to risky whiskey that. No, I'll save it. I'll save it for a little while. <laughs> okay. Sure. Um, so okay, so 25 you said. 25 points of uh, necrotic damage. Yep. So it, it uses its oh. rotting gaze. All right. Then, yeah, and, no. An oatmeal is not feeling so healthy. <laughs> All right. Um, it also, you're going to see it. Well, actually, both of its hands are in the ground at the moment. So never mind. It's going to stay. And up next is Nothic. I, I keep saying that. Nobilis. I have the Nothic and the Nobilis right next Nobilis. to each other. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, okay. So I can clearly see this guy, right? The left hand. Uh, you can mm, clearly, maybe not. It's kind of hidden behind the box. I'd say he probably has a plus two to his AC uh, from your current position. But if you moved a little bit, you'd get a better position on it. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. So I'm still in the air. So I'd like to go a little more, <laughs> like like right here. Okay, sure. And let me know so, if you guys are are in the air whenever you end your t your turns, um, just because that'll be useful um, to me. Yeah, I'm in the air, so like I I know there's like Alessio and Felicity in front of me, but I I think I'm above both of them, right? Okay. Cool. Now you only so have I'm about ten feet to work up. with, but you could be any position in there. I mean, think about how tall you are. So like you're six feet tall, so you could probably only be a couple feet off the ground before it's a problem. Um, but okay, it lets you peek over the boxes like, and stuff. Let me walk a little bit further. <laughs> you make sure. me nervous, like I'm gonna hit them, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go maybe right here. Okay, that's probably your full movement. Okay. Um and I'd like to um go ahead and first oh, no, I don't wanna no, I don't wanna hex it. Now tell me, is this is this an independent creature? Or is know? it a part of another creature? You're not sure. It seems to be acting on you any kind of check to find out. Like can I see if the hand's attached to anything? Uh, the hand is sticking out of the floorboards, and actually, something to note is as it's moving, um, thank you for the reminder, as it moves, the ground that it moves over um, becomes what's considered difficult terrain. So if you were to move over where it moves, you'll get half speed for like the five feet or so that you're in there. Um, for example, if you were to cross this line, it would cost you 10 feet of movement instead of five if you went from like here to there. Gotcha. Okay. Um, but you guys are floating, yeah, so you could avoid that too. So, um, you know, what? I'm just gonna, I'm just, I'll hold off on that thought. I'm just gonna go ahead and Eldritch blast him. <laughs> sure. Uh, so let's let's see what happens. And you said it. What was the rule about targeting it? Like it, it, it it's harder to hit if you target. So if it's behind target. a box, it's gonna. So there's different levels of uh, cover. So if it's like just barely covered, it's gonna be plus two. If it's fully covered, or there's half cover, three quarters cover, and then full cover. Full cover, you can't hit it. Three quarters, it's plus five. Half cover, it's plus two. In other words, if it's hiding, it might be harder to hit. That's all you gotta re really know. Okay, sure. But you you have a full it. view at this thing right now. It's fairly large, okay. and it's you're kind of around the corner. Your nipples will strike true if you shoot. Great. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go ahead and try to attack that. All right. 17. 17 to hit will just barely hit. Right. Go ahead and roll damage. Uh, 14. 14 points of damage. All right, cool. So you uh, 
You go ahead and hit this left hand, no problem. Um, I'm gonna do another Eldritch Blast towards the same hand. Cool. And just just for everybody, like try to try to do your turns as fast as possible. Otherwise, we won't get through this combat today. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, you're 22. you're okay. I'm just telling yes. everybody. All right, twenty two will uh, well a twenty two with oh, a twenty two. Um, it's going to use its closed fist uh, bonus action or sorry reaction, which adds plus five to its AC, which makes you hit it anyway. So never mind. I'm sorry, I did math wrong. Um, <laughs> okay. So it's it's not going to, but it. Uh, all right, so you do an extra 15 points of damage. Boy, that was embarrassing. Okay, so you do an extra point, 15 points of damage. Can you keep moving forward? What was that? So did it waste its uh, reaction? No, 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 I, I recanted that. It wouldn't have done that. It, okay, okay, yeah. I wanted to check. I meant um, to do okay. that on the first uh, one and I forgot, and so I was like, oh, I'll do it on the next <laughs> one. All right. All good. Um, I think, yeah, I'm gonna move a uh, uh, no, I think you've I'm used good. all of your I'm movement at this point. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm here. So up next is going to be the right hand, which is currently under the floorboards. However, it is right there, which is within 10 feet of you. Uh, no, fuck. I'm oh, sorry. I shouldn't swear like that. <laughs> it was supposed to be within 10 feet of you, Anomio, but apparently it's not. But that's okay. It's going to move a little closer to you. Um, it, it's going to grab you. And it's going to use its... <laughs> it's going to use its slap attack. Oh, no. Did a... Did Anomio run away? I don't want to beat the hell out of him if he's not here. <laughs> well, that's all right. A 12 isn't going to hit him anyway. Um, okay, so he gets multi-attack. So he's going to do... Uh, first he's tried to slap him. Now he's going to try to slap him again. He's doing kind of the backhand and forehand. And the 16 is still not going to hit. Ah, oh, he's got such a huge AC. Okay, well, I guess maybe he miscalculated how, how short and tall... Anomio is at the same time because he's floating in the air. <laughs> okay, uh, right hand is going to use the rest of its movement to kind of just, I guess, get in between Anomio and the Nothic. Um, and Alessio, you're up. Talon, you're on deck. All right. So I'm going to use my boots again. I'm going to step and kind of use it to hop over and get behind the left hand. Does it have a behind? Yep. Uh, it does. It has the back of its hand, um, and the eye that it has is on the front. However, um, yeah. being behind it won't be enough to surprise attack it for reasons. Okay. Without having advantage, like you, you wouldn't have advantage attacking it from behind because something can see. Oh, okay. This is the other side of its hand open with the other side of the eyeball. <laughs> I, I guess I'll just tell you. So the the, the Nothic, when he the shoved rain. his hands down into the ground, like these two hands emerged, that's a yeah. fairly reasonable assumption. Um, so the Nothic is watching this whole thing happening from atop the, the container of ballast. Um, so he sees that you're behind the left hand. So in other words, you're not going to surprise it, um, but you oh, are. I see what yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna. Um, you could attack gonna, it anyway. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna say, uh, excuse me while I whip this out. So. I, uh, <laughs> Grab my uh, glacial sting mm -hmm. and take that out. I uh, let's see. Um, yep, use this to roll. Back. Come on, come on. Come yes. on. Nice. All right, that'll do 27. it. Twenty-seven. All right. Do you want to do your extra one d six with that um, sword as well? Since yes, you, I would. You probably would have known to do that. <laughs> so, oh yeah no i have the stats yeah. up yes the icy assault yes all right so yeah, go ahead and roll yeah. your damage all right gonna... salt salt mouth size what i see assault <laughs> oh okay uh. <laughs> uh, all right 22 points of damage excellent all right so you uh you carve a huge slash in the back of this left hand um and you you could see the bones inside of its its hand kind of moving and, and and clicking as its fingers are still going like that. <laughs> I don't know I'll what you would call up. that. Well, it's but doing like, its jazz hands. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that hurt. <laughs> and my right. uh, my, bonus, my bonus action to get out of its arms, I'm going to use my misty step. And so you don't need to do that. You could use bonus action to disengage as a rogue. Oh, that's right. I have disengage. Yep. So right. you could yeah. use your movement. All right. Yeah. I'll cool. use my movement to get behind the box again. Excellent. Talin, you're up. 
<laughs> Taunting <Okay>. jazz hands. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> Come episode, name right there. Oh. episode name right there. Taunting <laughs> jazz hands. Oh, I like it. <laughs> nice job, Bauer. So. Yeah. and Booker uh, run up and jump on top of this box. That <laughs> Everybody wants to be on to. the box. I love it. <laughs> I love the whole idea of being able to be on the box. <laughs> uh, and so I Talon is going to stab down at it with the blade that's attached to my bow. Nice. The Yuanti bow. Mm -hmm. uh, and at the same time, Booker is going to, uh, like, I'll stab down and then Booker is going to attack. And he's wearing his braces. Yep. All right. I moved you a little closer just so it'll, <laughs> it'll work. All right. Cool. Uh, go ahead and roll your attacks. And Anomio, you're on deck. You missed it, by the way, Anomio. He he tried to bitch slap you left and right and uh, missed on both attacks. Aha. <laughs> you have a 19 AC. It's so hard to hit you. Mm -hmm. All right. A 22 will definitely hit. Hit. <laughs> For 10. So that'll okay. be 10 damage from me stabbing down. And Booker's going to also have a go. Okay. So many things to uh, 14, 14 will not hit. Oh. All right. All right. Anything else? Well, Booker pees on him. <laughs> <laughs> well, so there is a pool of blood kind of forming at the bottom of this hand. So Booker's pee and the blood kind of mix together. So that's that's pleasant. Hmm. All right, Anomio, you're up. Okay. So you are um, you are face to face right now with this uh with the right with hand. This big old hand, yeah. Yep. So it's it's in between uh, you and the Nothic, sorry. Yeah. I um I first of all I wanna say, like, Cliff, you have a problem with eyes. I have a real problem with like wet bedraggled hair. Like <laughs> like loose oh. hair. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's gross. And this oh, is I is, is flesh screwed. flesh hair. It's extra weird. Um, but Blah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but I know has no problem with that. He will dive down valiantly with his oh. Pyrox's ember. <laughs> oh, come on, attack now! A twenty-five will so hit. <laughs> yeah, that'll definitely hit. Uh, and it'll do eighteen damage. All right, because I am using the fire, fire thing. Excellent. And then I will do that again. Okay. Uh, I am out of the fire thing, though. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Well, it, okay. It should still do the or, one point. It, it might mechanically not be programmed properly, but it, it'll still do an extra 1d6. So 20 will hit. Oh, okay. Yeah, so when, once you're done, just roll a 1d6 while we're kind of doing the next turn, and I'll take care of it. All right, 17 points no, of damage? No, it, it did the 1d6. We're good. Oh, excellent. Yeah. All right, so you do an extra 17 points of damage. Ex good turn. damage, yeah. You have uh, 35 points of damage in one turn. That's pretty good. Yeah! All right. I well, like this sword. I like this nice. pretty sword. I know I like <laughs> this sword. <laughs> awesome. All right, anything else? No, that'll be it. All right, cool. Uh, so Felicity, uh, she's going to actually just check her, check her bags here. Excuse me. And um, she does not. Oh, never mind. She has something. Um, hold on one sec. I just want to read this. Uh, she's got something, guys. Oh, All boy. Right. So Felicity's going to reach into her bag and she's going to say, Everybody, cover your ears. And oh, she's going to pull out a, cl a clockwork device that, that uh, it's going to emit a loud noise, drawing the attention of creatures within 30 feet that can hear it. Um, this can be used to distract enemies, create a diversion, whatever. So when she, um, she's going to throw this and I'll just throw, kind of throw a thing over here. She's going to throw this over here and you're going to see the Nothic actually kind of reacts really poorly to this. Like just the loud oh. noise, it doesn't like it. And its hands are going to recede back into the ground as it reaches its own hands up and covers its ears. Um, oh. All right, and then she's going to use the rest of her movement to get as far away from the battle as she can. There you go. Smart move, <laughs> Yeah. All right. Thanks, uh, Felicity. Up next is going to be the left hand, which is no longer in, in battle, or at least not where it was. Um, so we're going to skip that. And then the Nothic is up. 
Now, the Nothic, oh uh, currently covering its ears and kind of screaming a little bit, um, oh. is going gonna, is gonna to look over at the the area that the, the little mechanical thing was, and it's going to plunge its hands back down into the ground, raising the right hand and the left hand in the same spot where this distraction was, and using kind of like its own turn uh, to basically crush the thing. Um, essentially removing the Nothic's turn as far as its actions okay. go. Uh, and both of the hands are now over here. Nobilis, you're up. All right. So can I see the main creature at this point or no? Just the hands? Uh, you can. So all of you can see the creature on top of this thing. It does have a little higher AC because it's kind of hiding among like behind something, but you can see it. Um, but whatever its AC is, it's probably going to be an extra five on top of it. Is it close enough for me to try to hex it? That's what I've been trying to do. I didn't want to just cast it on a hand. Uh, I believe so, yeah. Yep. Because hex doesn't really care. Like, it says, it probably says if you could see them, right? I would guess. So, Let me I would check. assume I would assume so, yeah. That you can see um, within range. Yep, so that would be it. Okay. Yeah, because um, yeah, I, I was thinking about that. I was either going to do that or the thing that makes it dark in here because they're eyeballs. But, like, eh, there's too many moving parts. We're just going to hex them. Okay. So, um, in terms of which skill that I want them to, to fail at, I think it'd like to be... <laughs> fail. <laughs> Constitution, like, what, what would, like, for something with vision... It's totally like, what up would, to like, you. Harder? Oh, um, so, let's see, probably... Jeez, uh, I have to look. Uh, so, like, a perception... Wisdom. Wisdom. Okay. Yeah, so I'd like to use that as that, but I also want to put a hex on them, and then I would like to Eldritch Blast um, the creature. So, or not just the creature, just the hands. The hands are fine. All right. So you're going to uh, hex it with wisdom. Okay, cool. Yes. So let me go ahead and do my first blast. Uh, yeah. 29. All right. A 29 uh, to the left hand is that was going to hit. Two for a sec. Yep. Uh, how much damage? Then damage, it's got a 12 plus. Plus the damage from the hex. Uh, well, the hex was on the Nothic, correct? <sighs> Not on the hand. Bill. What? No, you, you said you on the Nothic. Connected. Well, they are connected, okay. but they're they're not the same. I, first off, I did not. Okay, okay. Because you asked okay. if they were the well, same entity, and I said you weren't sure. <laughs> fine, so. Bill, fine. I'll go ahead and blast the same hand again. The fine, hand. Bill. How dare you be consistent with your answers? <laughs> <laughs> Rude. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to clarify that without being too obvious. Uh, oh. 22. The 22 will hit. Then 13 damage. 13. All right. So this hand is looking really, really battered at the moment. It's it's almost as if it has paper cuts kind of all over its hand, and you see blood just oozing out of all of its uh, various cuts. But the blood is this deep purpley black um, that's just dripping kind of onto the floor. So... Fun. Nasty. <laughs> All right. Uh, anything else, Novelist? Is there any way I can get, like, I don't see the, the creature on the map. So is there any way I can get that I could see the one that's, like, controlling all this? He's back yeah. over that way. He's over there. Yep. He's on. Oh, he's on. I didn't even see his icon. I'm sorry. I didn't even notice that. Well, that's kind of the point. Is He's he's trying to be <laughs> hidden. <laughs> so. Okay. Yeah. I'd like to get, try to find my way a little bit back towards that. I'm going to go about right here. Okay. Cool, go for it. Okay, up next is going to be the right hand, um, which at this point, Nobilis, you've done kind of the most damage. So it's going to rush you, and it's going to take a slap attack at you, which is going to be a 26 to hit for 20 Oof. damage. Yikes, um, so, okay. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to slap you, but a slap also, I'd like you to roll a strength saving throw. Uh, 15. <laughs> I forget that you have a negative. I got worried when I saw My the 16 roll. My strength roll. is awful. My strength right. is so bad. So you are going <laughs> to get slapped so hard that you actually fly an extra 20 feet this direction. <laughs> Slap okay, the next wow. week. I love it. And then, uh, and then the right hand not being able to actually, uh, uh, actually, I think it will be able to reach you because it has a 10 feet, 10 foot reach. Um, how many, going, how many slaps does it got, Bill? It has two slaps, but... Okay. This time it's going to punch you instead. <laughs> oh. 
So, <laughs> and that's going to be a 26 right to hit. The right hand gives you the middle finger. <laughs> for 23 points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, okay. Oh, dang. All, right. All right. So the the, the right hand slaps you, and as you go flying, it chases you down and just pat, it beats you right into the ground. Um. So, up next is going to be Alessio Morte. Alessio Morte. All right. Where is everybody? Um. Oh, right hand. Which one is looking the most rough? The right hand. The left hand. This one up here. Oh, the left hand. I don't yep. think I have. Oh, I do. Oh, just ignore the one that's beating my ass right now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, uh, one. Listen, listen, mister, I'm going to hide under the stairs until something happens. Uh, <laughs> I'll, uh, all right, I'll get, I'll get up on this uh, Mr. Right Hand uh, guy here, and uh, I'll uh, break out the Glacial Sting again. All right. Uh, glacial Sting. Let's... Do this shit. Dun, 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 dun. I love this music. <laughs> Does Ryan Eye Glacial Sting has no available uses remaining? Oh, that's is that annoying. A, is that a thing? Um, is it Lemon? <sighs> Do I want to just use my dagger? Say, say <laughs> consume available usage, uncheck that. I think those uh, okay. those zero out of three. I, I'll have to fiddle with that later. I'm not sure what that's about. Okay, no worries. Okay, yeah, that worked. All right, okay. attack. Ooh, that was. I love 16? when you see it like roll onto a natural twenty and roll away. Uh, Sixteen will not hit. Wow, that didn't hit either. Wow. Okay. Good oh boy. Uh, I just All say, right. damn it, sorry, novelist. <laughs> <laughs> right. Disengage here. <laughs> awesome, Talon, you're up. Okay. So I'm going to run over. Part of this box is still in place. Like mm -hmm. part of it has a hole, but we're getting on top of the box again. <laughs> Everybody sure. is behind me. That is on my team. Okay. Yep. So that is true. Nobody that yell is at me when I try to do freaking thunder wave and not hurt anybody. Cause oh, I'm what? aiming it at the Nord, not the, whatever his name is, the Nordic guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm Nothic, hoping is really going to bother. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, he's Nordic man. Nordic man. <laughs> you can do it! <laughs> Alright, so you're thunder waving? Is that going to reach him from where you are? Or do you, do you cast it on a location? Uh, from I being on the box? That's a good question. That's what I was thinking. No, a wave of thunderous yeah. force swoops out from you in 15 feet, and he yeah. is not within 15 feet of you. No, that's even funnier. <laughs> if Tommy just does it and nothing happens. <laughs> well, okay, uh, actually, uh, so Novelis is is ten so feet I went away from you. Forty feet of my fifty feet of my forty-five feet that I can go. Yeah, so you could go. You can go another five feet up this way. That's fine. All right. If you go, if you go there, you? you'll be able to hit. Uh, yeah, you'll be able to hit the Nothic. That's fine. He's kind of behind cover, but it's it's sound way like it's fine. Yeah, all right. So he's gonna do a yeah, Constitution right. saving throw. All right. Ooh, he rolled oh, a natural one. He rolled oh, a no. natty one. Yeah. Oh. So, uh, oh, it's it's oh, it's him. One. Oh, I thought it was you rolling. Oh, yay. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> that's him. Happy days. All right. So uh, let's see. On a failed save, a creature takes 2d8. Go ahead and roll damage. And it's pushed 10 feet away from you. Also, let it be known, I don't... I'm not trying to kill him. All right. So it, uh, it takes 12 points of damage. Um, also, because it's been pushed 10 feet away from you, both of its hands disappear um, as its its hands kind of pull back out of the ground. Ah. Um, oh! Very clever. So, uh -huh. Very, very clever. Y'all are welcome. Well, this, this uh, may or may not work out well for you guys because it can kind of make its hands go wherever you want. <laughs> exactly. But this is fun. I, I like this. Like a, right. a quick breather, right? Yeah. Anything else, Talon? Uh, I'm, just, I'm just checking to see if there's something I can do that would help heal, but that would mean my last first level. Right. So, um, and I've moved my full movement. So, yep, yeah, nope, that's it. Cool. So, but Talon, we have a speaker chat. I see that, yeah. So oh. next, oh, I should have done a D4 to my next saving throw. No, it was after that's that. It. Actually, he, he says bless, so there was a boon, so that, that's okay. Bless. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, all of that would have been hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I'll add it to my to my nat one. All right, Anomio, you're natty up. one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Anomio, what are you doing? 
Well, I am. Uh, I really, really, really want to go stab this little freaking gremlin. But, no, actually, wait, no, the hand's gone. So, yeah, I can go stab this little gremlin. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. See? You're welcome. Wait, so if I, uh, I can walk over here and then hop up, right? Okay. Yep. So, or yeah. I'm flying, flying. Con consider lateral movement like it's all, you'll go up at a 45 degree angle kind of thing. You'll move yeah, one and okay, yeah, cool. yeah. Um, I am unable to get past this wall. Would you help me with that, Bill? Uh, sure, yep. Sorry about that. Thank you. Uh -huh. um, I am just going to hit him with Spicolo because I'm a little too far. Ooh, I like it. Rocks nice. We haven't seen Spicolo yeah. in a while. I know. This is actually <laughs> very per this is that is the, the whip, right? Yep, yeah. the whip, yeah. Oh, you I always think about Spicolo. I'm like really annoyed by Spicolo. <laughs> when I'm whiskey, I'll just take a long drag. <laughs> All right, that works. I bet a piccolo would actually cause damage to this thing because those are the worst <laughs> flutes ever. So oh, I, I thought you were talking Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> All right, so let's try that again. <laughs> All right. Ooh, that's yeah, good. Yeah, oh, there, there we go. go. All there right, so a 28 will hit. Go ahead and roll damage. 17. Not All right. bad, not bad. And I'd like to uh, go ahead and I'm going to use... Eh, disarming attack, even though it really actually isn't, I don't think it's going to do anything. I just kind of want to uh, add the uh, oh, this damage. one doesn't actually allow me to add the damage. That's oh. annoying. Alright, that's okay. I'll okay. just attack him again, because it's fun. <laughs> so you're going to whack him twice with Spicolo. Awesome. Yeah, 18. Alright, 18 will hit. Go ahead and do damage. Sasisa. 16. Uh, 16 damage. Excellent. Okay. Uh, he's... Watcha, watcha, watcha. Yeah, you, you whack him twice, and actually you see this line of blood developing on its inner eye, as if you had Ooh. gotten it right on the, the the white part of the eye. I kind of forget what that's called. Um, cornea? No, not iris. The other part. Cornea's yeah. the thing on top. Yeah, yeah. You used to put eye stuff. The one. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Never mind, and, never mind. And you see, you see it blinking, and its whole eye is kind of covered with this this black, purpley blood. Ugh. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Breaky. No, that will be it. All right. Felicity is up. She's still gonna keep running. All right. Up next is going to be the Nothic. Um. So let me just move Felicity further away. All right. So the Nothic is going to use his turn. Uh, he's actually going to jump off of the crate. Oh. Come yeah. back here, you coward. And he's going to dive into this. Uh, there's these little, um, actually, f I think it was Felicity showed you around the, the um, ship originally, Alessio. Uh, there's these little holes in the ground. They're like grates, and there's extra yep. gears and components down there. He's going to jump into one of these and disappear. Oh, um, what in the Among Us is this? <laughs> totally. That's <laughs> you're, you're picturing it perfectly. All right. And <laughs> Nobilis, you're up. Um, you know what? I'm going to... I'm going to dash. I'm going to go towards that grate. Wait, okay. is this something that I could fit down? Uh, you can't even see it from where you are, so you're not sure. Okay, well, 60 feet is directly on it, so I'd like to I'd like to run up to it. Sure. All right, so you run uh, up to I, it. Oh, yep. Okay, never mind. Go ahead. All right. So you run up to it, um, and you... What? <laughs> Can I see if I fit down it? <laughs> Oh, sure. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's big enough. You could definitely get into it if you wanted to. You'd be very tight. Um, this is more developed for somebody like Felicity, who's a gnome. Um, you would be what's called squeezing, which means that you'd be using half of your movement. And probably at I've quite a disadvantage tighter, if something happens. <laughs> Damn it, I've been let's in tighter. Go. Let's go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Big elves and tight holes. <laughs> so that was your full movement, but I will say that you're down inside of this, uh, this, this grate. Now, what we're gonna see how that works out in the next turn. All right, <laughs> that was uh, probably a huge oh mistake. <laughs> we're gonna find out. All right, so the hands are not currently out. Um, so Alessio, what would you like to do? At the moment, there are no hands out, and the creature is inside of the the floor somewhere. Yeah, I I don't I don't even know what to do. I'm kind of just like waiting for the hands to come back up. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, in, in I guess in the words of Talon, I'm going to jump on the box in preparation of the hands coming out of the ground some, somehow. 
Yeah, jumping on things is always a good move. Yeah. So I, I, Tremor's action. I, I like it. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, so I hop. Yeah. yeah. So I hop up on the box, and mm -hmm. um, I think what I want to do possibly. Let me see. If I can do a. Hmm. Nice, Phil. No, that won't. That <laughs> won't work. No, never mind. I'm just hopping up on the box, and I'm gonna wait it out. Cool. Talon, what are you doing? I, just I didn't use an action during my turn. Whatever, it's fine. There's yeah. nothing that you could have done. <laughs> if I was gonna mage hand uh, and then see if oh. I can grab it out, but it's fine. <laughs> I'll I'll just tell you that wouldn't have worked. Have so okay. to be fair. I, I say that because I've been wanting to use mage hand to poke its eye, then I saw that it can't attack. So I'm like, <laughs> oh, that won't work. <laughs> that would have been funny, actually. All right, go ahead, Talon. I mean, but it'd be like taunting, right? Uh, okay. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> so <laughs> right? I want to yell over at Anomio uh, that it seems to hate loud noises. Like, <gasps> can we use Bard Tholomew? Yes! To upset it? Oh, yeah, we can! Like, to keep its hands <laughs> active yeah. or whatever, and then... Uh, yeah, I like that. That's a great idea. All right. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, do I yell that? And then I'm running over... Also to the crate. Oh no. Uh, me and Booker are getting closer to the crate with the idea that maybe I'm being very small, would be able to move around in it. Sure. Uh, but I can't quite make it to the to the grate in this right. move. So that's it. Well, that sounds great. Anomio, ah. you're up. <laughs> All right. Well, I too oh, no. would like to. <laughs> Tell me where you want to move, grade. and I'll have to drag you. Yeah. All right, okay, so you guys, I would you... like to move to, yeah, yeah, cool. basically, yeah, there. Um, and actually, I could I dash and just, yep. like, follow him right away? Sure, I, absolutely. I, yeah, okay, I'm going down. I'm just diving into the hole. Just... Excellent. All right, so I'd like you to make me a perception, mm, perception or investigation, whatever you'd like. Uh, in order to find your way around in here, because at the moment, not only is this whole room dark, by the way, I kind of forgot to include that in any of the mechanics here. Um, so I think I think all of you have dark vision. So maybe except Novelist. I don't do. Oh, you do. Okay, so it's not a big deal either way. Um, I got an 18, 18. On investigation. Awesome. All right, so you are able to kind of feel your way through here, but you have a choice. Hmm. Do you want to go... Um, and just kind of knowing what the general layout is here, and you've been on the ship for a couple of days, let's even pretend that you know. There is a grate over at the very front of the ship, and then there's a grate kind of on the starboard side. Which one do you want to head towards? Hmm. Do I, I mean, and all, all I know is that they're on these these two sides. That's That's really all I know Correct. about them. Other, you know, nothing where else they might lead. You don't hear or see the Nothic, um, but you know that there is there is very clearly a way to your left and a very clearly a way in front of you, which you okay. assume will head to the starboard side. Starboard side, sure. Um, okay, well, I'm... I'm going to go to the front, mm -hmm. the, br the prow, uh, as it is, I think. Right. Bow? Bow? Bow, there we go. A proud... <laughs> Pr a prow is a thing. Prow. What, what is a... What, prow is a right, thing. The, the prow is like the, the little pointy thing that's on the bow. The you know, portion... Right, like yeah. the mermaid no, or whatever. The, yeah. the portion of a ship's bow above the water. So specifically oh. the front of the ship oh, above yeah. the water, which is whatever. Who needs the that? Mermaid, yeah. Wow. Right. So it's... Yeah, the, where the mermaid is. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, right. I so assume I'll... every ship has a mermaid. Yeah. Obviously. Well, this, this ship actually, oh, yeah. it's at some, at some point, <laughs> if you guys would like to, you could tell me what's on this ship, but not right now. All right. So you, uh, I've moved you a little bit of a way that I think is fair. So you're, you're about a third of the way to the other, the other hatch. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Uh, Felicity, who cares? All right. Up next. All right. Up next is the Nothic. So the Nothic has a movement speed. Okay. Um, to make things fair, even though I kind of know where where you are, let's pretend the Nothic doesn't. I'm going to roll 1d2 and see which way it goes, but I'm not going to let you see the answer. Okay. So the Nothic is actually going to appear. Where the hell did it go? Where are you? 
Oh, Nautilus is like right on top of Even it. Even you don't know where it went. <laughs> so the, the Nothic is going to appear at the at the bow of the ship, which is the way that you are heading. Ooh. And it's going to, Working. but I will say that none of you see this. Um, I guess I probably shouldn't have even told you, but whatever. You'll see. Okay. It. <laughs> um, and it's, it's, that's actually going to be its entire movement is to get out, but it's going to use its actions to put its hands back into the ground and mm-hmm. make the hands appear again. No. All right. So the right hand and the left hand this time are going to both appear right next to you, Alessio, being the only person who is alone. Both? Both hands. All right. So. Which is why I'm on the box. <laughs> yep, you are on top of the box. They can they can definitely get to you, but they're they have a little bit of time before their turn. Nobilis, you're up. All right, so um, there's no I would, way that could have so seen I would, where. It went. Sorry, let me let me actually put this out because this will matter. So you would have heard them erupt from the ground. You would not have heard the Nothic come up at the bow of the ship. So there's no point trying to follow it at this point. There's no way I could I could get to where it is. Well, you don't know. You don't know that it. You don't know that it's not still down in the uh, the hatch, but you do know that you heard a very loud noise erupt back from where you guys were out of the out of the ground. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna come back up. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'll take um, five five feet of movement to get out. Okay. Come back, and come back. Can I see anything? I think I'm just looking right now. I don't actually know where all the where all this is going on. I can't see on my screen, so uh, right, correct because it's blocked, right? Well, that's on yeah, purpose. I'm gonna, yep. I'm gonna move here. Okay. There you go. Okay. Okay. So I can, so, I can see now. I'm still uh, floating. At the moment, I would say that crate is very much in your way as far as seeing anything. I don't think that you would get a good shot off. This crate right here. Even if he's hovering? I'm hovering. <laughs> All right, fine. You could have a shot at the right hand. <laughs> All right, I can see the left hand. You can see the right hand. Let's say you can see that one. That left fucker. All right. Let's <laughs> let's target the right one. Let's go ahead and uh, Eldritch Blast him. What broken barrel is that? Is that the, Cal- it's oh, the California, Cal- Oak. California Oak? Yeah. I'm just trying to polish nice. it off. It's a, it's a good one, but I'm just kind of working my way through those yeah i have some of their newer ones they have some really cool finishes that they've been doing lately um mm-hmm. i'll just blast let's see yeah i'll I've, grab I've, my bottle of that after this build. i've oh, liked nice. their, oh wow a 30 will definitely hit all right Ooh. so you're, you're attacking the left hand all right sorry the right hand um i want to attack the left one but 30 will get hit. Advantage? What, did the super chat do we already count that uh you won't need it so that the oh. super chat is going to be basically if you guys need a saving throw or an attack that you just barely miss, you can roll a d4 to try to get get it. All right. So 12 um, a 30 damage will there. not just barely miss. A 30 will definitely hit. All right. So you do All 12 right. points of damage. Go ahead. Let's do so another you're doing one. another El- Eldritch. Same hand. That'll 28. hit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Oh. Damage. And actually, oh. uh, I would say with your a- agonizing blast or whatever it is, like this thing's getting pushed up against the, the box. But because it's not like it's hitting the box, so it's not being blasted back ten feet at all. Okay, gotcha. I know you probably forgot about that, but that's okay. No, I thought about it earlier, but I'm like, what would that even do? So I, yeah. I did think about it. I, just, I was like, what would it help? But cool. anyways, fifteen damage. All right. Uh, cool. Anything else? How's it looking? Um, it's still doing okay so you you've kind of made these like little singed marks and uh you see it it's blinking a lot trying to kind of wipe away whatever damage you've been doing but it's still feeling fine okay still feeling yeah i'm gonna end the turn there all right uh up next is the right hand so this right hand much like thing from the adams family it's gonna creep up the side of the the case um the the box right up to you alessio and it's gonna grapple you um so it's going to make grapple attack a 15. Will a 15 hit you? Nope. Ah, damn. All right. It's going to... I think it's going to slap you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no! A 13 doesn't hit. Damn. All right. Maybe slap. 
I should do these public. I, uh, uh, so, I don't know if you I don't know if you guys saw it, but Alessio like Matrix that shit. <laughs> <laughs> right. you, you were doing like a your feet were like. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah. yeah. All, right. <laughs> All right. So the right hand, um, it is ten feet away from you, so it's gonna try to move away from you without getting any sort of opportunity attack. Um, however, it's yeah, I think it's gonna go back over here. And towards blasting it with towards Nobilis, yeah, because Nobilis was just attacking it. That makes sense. Okay, okay. Alessio, you're up. All right, well, this left hand, uh, since it kind of creeped up, uh, giving me the old Adam's Family vibe, I'm going to um, let's see how... how... So real mm -hmm. quick, I don't want, obviously don't want to take too much time. Is there yeah. a way I can... Is there like a, an extra roll or something where I could do kind of a jumping down attack on it to see if I uh, You could just do that as a flavor text, call it. Yeah. Or flavor. Flavor. Text. Flavor. Like flavor. I'm used to, yeah, flavor. Flavor, flavor. I'm used flavor. to reading things. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. I'm going to use uh, I'm gonna use my glacial sting and try to come down on it right into the eyeball. So. Awesome. All right, go for it. There we go. Come on. Give me a roll. Give me a roll. Woo! Ooh. That'll do it. All right, roll damage. Roll high. Give me, give me the damage. 11. 11. All right, 11. Oops. Uh, so 11 will not do it, but you're close. Okay. And then uh, because I have my dodge, my little bonus action, um, I jump back. Actually, uh, no, it won't, it won't matter. Sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. It doesn't kill him? No, 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 no. no. Okay. I was trying to see if there was any way for you to do an additional some amount of damage to kill him, but no. Nope. Yeah, I was trying to see. I don't, I don't, the only uh, bonus actions I have are, none of them are attack bonus actions, unfortunately. Well, you have all those spells that you should check out while we're doing the next turn. Like, you could have done the, the Sonic thing or whatever that is. The the one that makes it so, like, if they move out of it, they get hurt. Whatever oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I also could have used Shadow Blade as well, but... Um... Oh. Do you want to use Shadow Blade? I don't know what that does, but... Um, let's see. Yeah, it deals uh, psychic damage on a hit, but okay. let's see. In addition, when you use a sword to attack a target that is dim, light, or darkness, you make the attack roll with advantage. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, that's not really going to work for you too much. Actually, exactly. we should talk about that. You might want to replace that with something different, because that's not really going to be applicable with the cool weapon that you have. Um, I know. If All you right. want to change that out sometime, feel free. All right. Okay. Anything else? No, nope, just jump back in the box. I'm good. <laughs> just hanging on the box. <laughs> All right, Talon, you're up. Hang on the box. What's in the box? Okay, so I was about to, I was about to head down into the grate, but I, I did hear that <laughs> hand pop back out. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've turned around and and I'm shooting at the right hand. Okay. With my Yuanti. Boo. Sure. And then Anomio, you're up next. I'm just going to remove Felicity from the combat at this point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she, she did her part. She threw some shit. Well, <laughs> All right, 10 more. Did she, go? did she go tell others that we're being attacked right now? Uh, she's the running away one. at the moment. So you don't know, but Jesus. I would assume. Uh, neither one of Both those are going to hit. Crap. Sorry. Uh, you do have I'm a risky whiskey. I'm going to freaking yeah. risky whiskey this because that annoys me. All right. I'll, uh, I'll drink some, some with you. Uh, I don't understand how people do shots. <laughs> Man. That is always painful. Oh, I definitely understand how people do shots. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, you're terrible at please. rolling. Uh, no, si and it's a 16. Which a I 16 doesn't. won't hit. No, sorry. Don't. So, I well, that did nothing. Sorry I tried, Novelis. Uh My other thing was that I was going to... I still want to go down, though, and try and find the... Don't the we all? Nordic guy. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm the worst. That's what he said. <laughs> all right, so you're gonna um, you're gonna try to jump in into the hole. Yes. Oh, but um, all right. So, so I'm out. Sorry, David just reminded me you have a bless, um, which oh, there you go. I I will say a one d four a one will hit. Its AC is one. So I right, sorry, its AC is seventeen. Um, so go <laughs> ahead and is one. <laughs> go ahead and roll yeah. damage so with the UNT. The risky whiskey bow. would work. The risky whiskey will Yay. work, which makes it way more worth it. Used to be okay. good. If At least one of them hit for seven right. on the right hand. Yeah, true. 
All right, seven points of damage. Thank you, David, for uh, the reminder. I appreciate it. Thank yes, thank you. <laughs> and the for making jet. that worth it. <laughs> um, yeah. So I want to go down into the the area or whatever, mm -hmm. but obviously, like Booker can't really. What I was thinking was to mm -hmm. kind of tie a rope for me to Booker. That but would if take I a yell, long time. He can like help sort of pull me. So what? Different. But I'm not moving very far. So just a thought. Booker has a faster movement than you, and he's about the same size. He's a little bigger, but he could definitely fit through this. Do you want to just send Booker? Or uh, the thing is, he can't do like a sound thing against. I have like Got one it. more thunder wave that I could do against if need be. That's always gone well. <laughs> so, okay, sure. It, it, it worked the last time. All right, tell me what All you're right, doing. I'll just go down there. I'll just go down. Okay, no rope. No rope, I don't have the time. So cool. uh, Booker is going to stay up here, though, in case he can right. help later on in my next round. So again, um, are you going towards the starboard or towards the bow? I guess um, you, you kind of know. I probably should have not said anything, but that's okay. That's the thing. I know. So I'm like, I don't know what I would have chosen. Tell you what. Let's roll a D2. Um, I, so I'd probably... Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm like, I'd probably yell at a Nomeo and maybe go to where he didn't go is All the right. thing. On a two, we'll go to the... All right, yeah. so you're, I like the idea of flipping you'd be coin. going to the starboard with this. Okay, which makes sense. Mm -hmm. You'd go a different I'd way probably try him. to cover the area that a Nomeo right. wasn't I'll in, give you a little so extra, I'm gonna go be a little extra movement since I kind of forced you into the decision. So, cool. All right, up next. All right, are you good? Or sorry, a Nomeo's up next. Ben, yep. All right, a Nomeo, you're am, up. I'm scurrying after the little beastie. <laughs> uh, All right. I can't really see where the yeah. tunnel is, but I assume it, it's like that if direction. You, if you quote unquote dash while crawling, I'll let you get all the way there. All right, there we go. Yep. All right. So you're you're going to be just at the base of this thing. I'm not going to say that you could pop out because it's I definitely gave you a little bit more movement than I would. Yeah, but you're sure. you you have the cover like right above you, and on your next turn you'll be able to pop out. I'm going peeking up at him like, oh, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> all right the, the left hand is up and uh it's gonna attack you alessio okay. um this t it's gonna i really want to slap you really want to slap you 15 is not <laughs> a 15 is not gonna hit correct the amount of time correct uh 16 all right um well then he's gonna punch you <laughs> he's so angry he's just gonna punch you all right for 12 damage so he's gonna right. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna kind of like rear you just see the hand it closes around the eyeball and it just boom <laughs> and uh you take like a like a human sized fist to the face <laughs> all right so take taking only 12 That's damage bad. which is actually not very much considering the, the... i was gonna use my uh i was gonna my gonna use my uncanny dodge um you know when you get attacked but i don't know if i need it uh, i think it's only for decks right or is that for everything? I, f I always forget. It's for everything. Yeah. So it just halves whatever you take? But yeah, if I... Let's see. I need to roll... Um, let's see. Where my reaction here? Um, I'll put it this way. You you take uh, you take 12 points of damage, figure out whatever you take, and then apply it. I'll, All right. I'll, just, say, I, I'll just say I'll take the 12. Yeah, he. I'll let him get a good shot on me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Uh, apply the damage for yourself if you don't mind. All right. All right. So the Nothic is going to... Oh, this is where I have to try not to metagame. Ah, would he hear... Let me roll a perception to see if he would hear you coming. Mm, um, I think go. that's probably the only fair way to do this. Uh, why can't I do this? Oh my gosh. All right, I'll just do this. So roll 1d20. That's a d1 210. So let's roll 1d20. Would he be a disadvantage from all the loud noises he's endured? Not anymore. So he rolled a 12. So I would say he would not hear you coming. Um, okay, cool. So at this point, you're he's he's still there. Um, he thinks he's hidden, and he's got his hands in the ground, so he's actually not going to take a movement, which makes me really sad. Um, actually, that's not true. Actually, he is going to do something. Um, so this is called Weird Insight. Um, so I'm going to roll... 1d5 and you'll see why which is a 3 so Talin I'd like Talin to huh. make a um, 
Oh. Roll a deception check, What's please. What's a D five? It's just one out of five. Oh. It's, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Um. No, so roll roll a deception five. check for me, please. I didn't know that was a thing. Hold on, let me get out. There's two of me on the board, and I keep looking at what? one. I don't know why. Oh. Oh, good, I and I have a negative one. I'm excited for that. <laughs> so, right, so a nine. All right. So he is going to. All right, he's going to beat you. I would like you to tell me something. It could be within the game, or like, sorry, it could be from your time with the party or before that you would think would be a secret. Hmm. This is something like he's basically prying in your in your mind, trying to find something of value, some sort of. Oh, that would be information. a secret from yeah. the party. You're a creepy little. No, for, it could be about the party. It's something that Talin would know, though. Uh, she's terrified of fire. Okay, cool. Ever since the fire that her husband died in. Okay. Afraid of fire. Well then, with his action, what he is going to do. Oh, you God. are you're currently on top of this box. The box is now on fire. You're fake fire. Well, you don't you <laughs> no, don't no, know I'm that. No, no, I'm underneath BT Debs. Oh, you're under I'm Oh, down, even underneath. even more so than in front of you so and behind worse. you inside of this yeah. cave uh this this tunnel. You are now surrounded by fire. Rope. You should have said you're afraid of a basket of puppies. <laughs> right. Oh, <puppies>. So <gasps> little baby bookers. <laughs> so 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 Talon, in this in this case I'd like you to roll a wisdom saving throw. Um, if you roll under a 12, you're going to spend the next turn being afraid. And basically you have to run, you have to move 30 feet or whatever your movement speed is away from the danger. So roll a <laughs> wisdom saving throw. I'm short. My movement speed is 25 feet. <laughs> it is. Wow. You're tiny. <laughs> okay. Uh, rolling it now. Hey, well, cool. Attack. I will run away for 25 feet. Right. So I would say move. you're going to spend your next turn basically heading back towards where you came um, to the okay. to the entrance of this thing. So that's going to be your next turn. All right. Nobilis, you're up. All right. Where are we? Um, damn right hand. All right. Well, it's it's <laughs> obviously facing me. So let's go ahead and just, oh, yeah. let's just it's go for it. coming right at you. I know. I see <laughs> that. Let's go and Eldritch Blast it. All right. What are these blood streaks? Are those so just like the, these up? lines are where it's rough terrain? I'm just trying to loosely keep track of where they've moved, because they're they're gotcha. tearing up the ground as they move. It's just harder to keep track of. Uh, all right, let's. They are not illusions. Twenty three. Twenty three will hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Ah, six. six damage. Oh man. All right, well I got another one. Let's see. Okay. Let's see how it goes. You're doing a lot of damage this this fight, by the way. You've been kind of the MVP. I'm trying. I'm trying my best. Oh, yeah. 19. 19 will hit. Man. 13. 13 damage. Okay. It's looking pretty pretty bad. All right. <laughs> um, I would like to move a little. I'm going to go about right here, just so I can see both of them. I don't like that this left hand's like hiding over here. So. Uh, okay. Go right there. Mm -hmm. Um. And then I'll just in my turn. By the way, I've just mentioned you're drinking Broken Barrel. I, I poured their their latest collaboration. This is actually finished in a coffee liqueur um, mm. barrel, so oh. it's really interesting. It's very light on the coffee, but it's it's actually nice. It's a nice balance. So good release from them. That's cool. Nice. I would have been afraid the coffee turn, would be too much. I would think so too, but it's not. I thought it would be too yeah. sweet, but it's not nice. that sweet. So it's actually pretty nice. Mm. Shoot your no, nipples! Sure. Shoot your nipples! All right, cool. All right, Are up next is all right, cool. Up next is the right hand, which is going to be heading directly at you, novelist, and it could definitely make it to you. All right, actually, it's going to be ten feet away from you, because uh, avoiding those opportunity attacks. Novelist, would you like to be slapped, punched, or question mark? <laughs> oh, I like this. Oh, uh, I like a, I like a little dirty. slap. Yeah. <laughs> all right, he's going to slap mm -hmm. you. Hopefully. Uh, 26. No, was just like, mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. So Let's he's going he, to he's he's gonna slap you for 14 points of damage, and he's going to knock. Uh, go ahead and roll a strength saving throw, please. As if we think, as if you're possibly going to survive. <laughs> 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 make make sure you apply your negative one. What? 
Listen, I shouldn't go anywhere because I'm by this thing. That's, we'll that's, see. That's He's awkward. slapping you. He's slapping you. Hey, but I blasted one of these guys earlier and they didn't go anywhere. Ten. All right, a 10. Um, so he's going to slap you this direction. You're going to kind of whack up against this uh, this ballast thing. He's going to take... Actually, I think he's got a little bit more movement. He's going to take that. He's going to grapple you this time. God. Oof. All right. So he's going to roll a 29 to hit, which is good. Um, make a strength saving throw, please. Damn uh, can I use like my abilities to make this higher? Fourteen. No. Um, well, what do you mean? The the um super chat. Are we already? Oh, used that's that? already that's already gone. Um, oh, okay, fourteen. <laughs> even uh, you know what? What the hell? Roll a d4. I'll give uh David a little more bang for his buck because he's the only one that's super chatted so far tonight. Yeah, David. All right. That's it. Thank that's you, it. David. It's, it didn't matter, but if you rolled a four, it would have. So that's fine. Uh, All right. So, okay. so you well, are going you anyways, to. David. You David are now, is a beautiful oh, human being. You are now grappled, which means that you cannot move Ooh. your next turn. Um, uh -oh. So this right hand basically it, <laughs> it, it, it completely <laughs> grabs you and it's just holding you and like urgh, shaking you. All right, Alessio, you're up. All right. This, uh, the novelist did not understand what that meant at first and got way too excited. Oh, like, ooh, okay. He's like, ooh. <laughs> I'm going to have to watch I'm that grappled. on the. Uh, <laughs> I'm grappled. First, right, I got I'm slapped. Gonna, Alessio, please I've been save grappled. us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to drop down and try to uh, kill off his left hand with my. Uh, I'm going to mm -hmm. use the old rapier. I will Yay. tell you, it has nine hit points left. So. All right. Well, well uh, then maybe I should use the. Yeah, maybe I should use the glacial sting then. It packs a little bit more of a punch. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Oh, yeah. You should throw yeah. that rapier on the ground and leave it away. Uh, leave it, leave it. <laughs> yeah, right? Throw yeah. it away, yeah. All right, come on. Let me get a good roll here. Let's go. Been rolling good. Been rolling good. Nice. 17 just barely hits. Go ahead and roll hey! damage. Hey! Jack that shit. Go. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. What? You rolled. Wait, what just happened? I don't nope. know. You rolled. <laughs> You roll. You nope. roll to attack again. D just no, roll normal, damage. Normal, roll damage. Normal damage. Seventeen points of damage. All right. Yeah. So, you you destroy this left hand. I would love to hear how you kill this left hand. All right. So basically, the glacial sting. I friggin' put it right through the iris of the oh, damn yeah. eyeball, mm -hmm. and I actually just kind of weave it around, and I kind of wiggle it, and then I I just pop yeah. the eyeball right out of the middle of the hand, and it just. Kind of sliding down my sword, and I just said, <laughs> and I just stand and I looked at I'm it. Like that. I'm like, pass the duchy on the left hand side, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, I would like you all to picture one of those inflatable yoga balls and picture what would happen if this thing was filled with blood and ooze and goo, and then you pierced it with a sword and held it above your head. <laughs> you are completely covered in gore right now, Alessio. Yeah. As I'm like, it's all dripping down my face. I'm like, ha 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 ha. <laughs> and not awesome. not only that, but your rhyme geist just freezes all of it as it's dripping out, so it's chilling yeah. you, and it's just so it's, it's like this combination of like bright yeah. blue from the ice and that dark purple yuckiness from the blood. It's a, oh my a, god! A nice wintry mix. It's a. It's a <laughs> Y'all, I got, you're gonna have to take a shower before we have to. Like, like, like snow lightning. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right, Alessio, would you like to use any of your? Uh, money shot <laughs> would you like to use any of your movement <laughs> money shot. Uh, that's the worst money shot in all history <laughs> i know yeah i'm gonna stay right here <laughs> good gonna, call i'm gonna check i'm gonna check the eyeball for my uh for my for my uh whatchamacallit the my chalice uh the chalice is not inside of the eyeball but good call okay um right. so Talon, you have to use your whole movement to get to this thing. I will let you get out. Um, if you want to do anything with Booker, Booker he Booker can't move. He's not afraid. Um, he could do something if you'd like him to. I, so I was, I like, I knew Talon had to do, but can Booker move? No, Booker can move. Yeah, I had to move to run him. Yes. So because Booker doesn't know that I'm coming back up. Correct. And I told Booker to like help. Yeah. So I was thinking, Booker. Uh, was going to run over to the right hand. Well, you and were heading down this direction. That's your left, right. but that's okay. <laughs> no, the right hand. The hand. 
that's left. Oh, the right hand. The, okay. the hand that is still Sorry. the right hand. Sorry, that was my mistake. I was surprised. I'm like, really? <laughs> really? Left and right? Is that? Eh, that's all right. No, no. I know my left and right. <laughs> I was talking about the hand. All right. So Booker's going to run I over to the see. right hand and he's going to attack? Yes. Okay, cool. That apparently yeah. collides with the wall. He can get there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sweet. It's mad at me. It's mad at you. There you go. There you go. Yeah, it's just giving me dumb errors. Okay, uh, eleven and will he, not and hit. And Booker just, you know, bites the air. So. <laughs> Booker, Booker hears He's you there. screaming He's... below deck, and he gets distracted. He's and... distracted. Yes. Yeah. All right, Anomio, you're up. Yeah. I burst from out of the grate directly behind the Nothic, and I say. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> and I stab him through his giant head. <laughs> all right. First attack with an advantage because you did surprise him. Oh, hey, all right. I like that. There you go. All right. Get him. Get him. And he just <laughs> lost his left hand, so he's probably... That's true. Out. Yeah. Yeah, he, he pulled his hand out, and he's like, ooh, ah, ee, ah, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, Braxis is doing some silly one moment, and there we go. I roll a 18. 18. That'll hit. Rad. All right, roll damage. Uh, 19. 19 points of damage. Um, not quite close. Ooh, I got a second attack. Go for it. All do right. it. Come on, baby. Let's do it. Let's do it. No! Oh! <laughs> no! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that was a, a natty one for the podcast. Oh, that was yeah, a natty God. one. It, it was a nineteen, and then it just like lazily rolled onto the one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that hurt. Oh, oh well. That hurt. Oh, that hurt my soul. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like the Nothic's gonna get another turn potentially. <laughs> like it happened like in such slow motion. It was so painful. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, is, is there anything else you'd like to do, Anomia? No, no, there is not. <laughs> All right. So the the Nothic, uh, quite surprised by you, is going to take both of its hands out of the ground, um, meaning that the right hand is going to disappear from the field. Um, and it's going to kind of hold its hands up in front of you while staring into your into your eyes. And it's going to use... Don't look its, at the jazz hands. Oh. Don't look at the jazz hands. It's going to use its rotting gaze on you. Oh, shit. Ah, right, oh, so 16 is not going to hit, son of a bitch. Oh. <laughs> and uh oh. Suck it, Nordic check. I think it's going to it's going to have to try to jump away from you because even though it, you probably get an opportunity attack, it's going to try to get back up onto the um onto the ballast. Uh but feel free to take your opportunity if you want. Okay. Uh, I'll actually I'll, I'll have to put him right next to you to make that happen. So, go Why ahead. wouldn't I? That sounds like a great idea. Come on, don't hit. I want to get, I want to kill people. No! <laughs> yes! <What's my> <laughs> All right. So it gets away. Um, it jumps up onto this uh, ballast tank and uh, it's going to shove its hands back into the ground. Um, but it won't have a chance to move any of its hands based off its, uh, all of the things. So its right hand's going to reappear. hand comes back. No, well, no, the left hand is dead. Like, the left hand's definitely done. Okay. okay. Um, but the right hand is going to kind of come back right where it was, which is right next to Booker and Nobilis. However, <laughs> let's see. Who does it want to attack? Does it want to? I think it's going to attack Nobilis because it was already. Not innocent little oh, me. Yeah, actually, it's currently. Oh, okay. yeah. Booker I did no damage. I forgot, <laughs> actually. It's currently grappling you, Nobilis. So yeah. um, it's going to start to squeeze <laughs> you. And uh, Ooh, okay. I forgot to assign an amount of damage. Uh, did I? Give no, I didn't ignore that roll. I didn't give it an amount of damage for the squeezing. So we're gonna. Why don't we ignore that roll? But okay. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna give it. Well, it's not. It doesn't have to roll to attack you. It just has to roll to hit uh, to hurt you. So it's gonna do eighteen Jeez. points of damage to you. Mm. Since it, since you're grappled, that's kind of the so, benefit. So the grapple remains even though it went away, 
and now oh, it's come back. Good point. Well, it's all right. Fine. It's punch. Mm -hmm. It came back up and it punched you for 19, which hits you for 18 damage. So thankfully, yeah. I rolled well. So it all makes sense. Yeah, I said I preferred slaps. <laughs> all right. Well, good because it's gonna slap you next. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, next. Hold up. Hold yeah, up. it gets multi attack. Uh, 14 doesn't hit you. Oh, well. All right, oh, so okay. it, punched, it punched you for 19. Um, I, did that apply the damage, or did you do you need to do I that? haven't done it yet, but I'm, okay. I'm just making sure I'm still alive. Barely. All right, so you're just barely alive. Um, it is bloodthirsty for a hand. All right, Alessio, you're up. <laughs> oh man so you're standing uh, on top of this box you're looking at the field you see a, the right hand just punch novelist in the face it's directly in front of you booker is at its haunches and uh what are you doing so i'm gonna use my dash attack or dash you know because hands have no all. haunches but that's fine. yeah yeah so i'm gonna get right next to this right hand all right and... so you're gonna bonus action dash so you can get over there and still have your action okay yeah Yep. So I kind of dashed over there, and I look at I look at my sword, and I peel the eyeball off my sword. <laughs> <laughs> much, much like the little plastic sword in a martini, you take the yeah. olive off of it. <laughs> the olive off. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the olive off of it, and then uh, squeeze the pimento. Right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, then I rear back again and uh, try to get a good swipe with my uh, my sword again. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> uh, hilarious. I'm so glad I don't like martinis. Uh, I'm going to use, uh, my, my, use my risky whiskey. I have not used it tonight. So sure. cheers, guys. I honestly don't cheers. know that I've ever had a martini. Oh. I think I've somehow not yeah. had one. Mm, I like a dirty one, which is so out of character for me, like liking whiskey. Mm. But I love a good dirty martini. Yeah. Brian. Of course you do. Yeah, I could see that. If you're gonna have a martini, it needs to be dirty. Oh, Otherwise, yeah. it's just gin. I like, agree. Yeah. Yeah. Right, like 20, Twenty-seven will martini. definitely hit. Go, go for it. Damn oh, it. actually, and you get advantage. Um, on you're gonna hit. Do this. Roll another attack just in case you crit. Because Booker is uh, flanked with it. Roll another <gasps> just a regular normal okay. attack. Roll roll another attack just in case you crit. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna hit either way. Um, so go ahead and roll your hit plus your sneak attack damage afterwards. Okay, attack. Normal. All right. Oh wait, I'm sorry. That was. That's okay. That was. Damage. That's fine. I'm sorry. Roll your damage and then. There's my damage. Okay. So your damage is 17. Okay. And now okay. roll your sneak attack damage. I'm just straight up drinking from a bottle here. Like I've drank a lot of it. I, I didn't want to bother to go get a glass because I'm like doing a lot of things here. So I'm like, I'll just drink from the bottle. We love it. That's All this behind me is for me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> My wife doesn't even like whiskey, which is such a shame. Like considering what I have on hand, you know. So. Yeah. All right. You need a second uh, wife, Bill. Let me know. <laughs> it's under features. Features. Y'all will have to move to my state for second wives. Just mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've actually been I've been looking at places other than Massachusetts that I might want to live. Oh, um, Bill wants that second wife. I see. Well, Southern Utah polygamy still dude, legal in. I do Southern not want Utah. twice the headache. Wait, is it? Is it actually? <laughs> in Southern Utah, not the Mormon Church in the rest of Utah, it is not okay. But Southern Utah, but in California, you can do what you want. So I come didn't out here know that. Yeah. Oh, Alessio, do you see the sneak attack, Alessio? Yeah. Under, no, it's, under not, it's not coming up under there. Under features, do you have something in the search? No, you don't. Here, I, cool if I roll it for you. Oh, never mind. Just found right. it. Got cool. it. Active right. abilities, but I had to just unclick some of the things. All cool. right, got it. Sneak attack, damage. Roll those dice. Here we go. Ha -ha. Here it comes. All right, twenty damage. Oh, it's not quite enough. Come on! I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be. If it was within a couple, I might have fudged it a little bit, but it's, oh, it's seven, still got a little... The 17 on top of the 20, you still I alive? I know. I know. It's just barely alive, though. You, uh, <laughs> again, you're, you, you've are you you just carved away the skin. You're seeing the bones moving inside. It is, if a, if a hand could feel pain, or a disembodied <laughs> hand could feel pain, it would feel pain. 
All right. All right. Anything oh, it's else? It's like disconnected from the nervous system and can't feel pain. Oh, go away, Talon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I bet it could feel pain. I am not. A... <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop being all It's all doctory, and then you're just like, God dang it. God dang it. <laughs> I can only Leave account for so many things. I only have a week. <laughs> all right. So. <laughs> I'm the wrong kind of nerd. You invited the wrong nerd. Oh, right, right, right. You're best right, kind let, of nerd. All right, Talon, you're up. Speaking of best kind of nerd, so you you I'll are now. Kill this damn, you're, kill the damn you, hand. Just attack it. Yeah. So Booker okay. Booker is right next to the hand. Oh, Booker is going for it. All Come right, on, go Booker. For, go for it, Booker. Finish him off, Booker. You have got this. Sorry, it shows up in a different spot every. While you attack with the dog, I'm gonna I'm gonna put my dog on camera there. There we go. Oh, we oh. went. Oh. Oh. oh, he's tired. What is it? What do you I roll? Fifteen. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, that does Which not. I'm pretty sure it doesn't, doesn't hit. hit. Yeah. I have two attacks. Uh, one, sure. Can one make, be Booker and Booker one is an one arrow? More. Or okay. So Nor we... Normally no, but yes. <laughs> yes. No. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, you got, you got that me. dice was cocked. You know, I want to, uh, I want to give it to you for the sake of time, but I just can't. All right, Talon. Booker's anything else? really confused. So, Booker, uh, Booker doesn't understand nope. why he can't bite a gigantic hand in front of his face. <laughs> he's he, he's right. extremely confused by that. Uh, no, not nothing else would yeah. do anything. So that's Talon runs a little bit closer. That's it. Anomio, you're up. I am chasing after this tiny <laughs> bastard. All right. Oh, I hate him. Get back here. I'm just going to fly up to here. Yep. Uh, and just just get out speaking. and just go after just whipping out. Just, ah, you All little right. son of a bitch. Stop running away. So you bust, you bust out Spicolo and you uh, you make your attack. He'll, he only has 14 hit points left. I All bet right, you can do on. it. Come on. Uh, we need to get to the looting part of the night. Yes. <laughs> There's more? <laughs> 14? Uh, a 14 uh, won't hit. All right, one more time. Come on. Come on. Mm. Yes. Okay. 28. A 28 will hit. Ooh. Go ahead and roll damage. 14. 14. That's how many hit points yes. he has. All right. Nice. So the the Nothic, go ahead and tell me how you kill this Nothic, and then. We'll... Oh, I am just so frustrated at this point. He can He doesn't even take any joy in it. Like the moment that we would have had a great thing was the surprise motherfucker moment, and that got ruined because <laughs> this little guy just ran off. And I was so mad. He's gonna be dancing on so many tables after this. He's just so mad. <laughs> So, Anomio lashes out his whip and uh, and rap, racks, uh, wraps the Nothic up in it, and the spines erupt from the whip, all there just piercing the Nothic everywhere, including the eyeball. And uh, the Nothic falls to the ground, dead. Um, and Bartholomew does a victory song. From the Nothic's body, uh, uh, you see in his hand, or I, I don't know if it was in his hand, whatever, somehow the Chalice of Kings falls from his body and clatters to the ground. Oh, oh okay. Got a, nice, got a nice chalice. Yes. So, um... So can the looting begin? The, the looting can definitely begin. In fact, uh, Anomio, I'm gonna speak a little bit for you here. You drag the Nothic over to the ground so that the rest of oh, the team sure, yeah. can, uh, can see him. And the right hand is going to disappear. Um, we are now out of out of combat. Um, Did you find my chalice? Oh yeah, a hundred percent. Look at this. Look at this beautiful chalice. Yes. Let's uh, <laughs> I'll, let's tuck that away. Awesome. So you uh, you're able to recover the chalice. Uh, we'll we'll kind of go into that next week. Is but... there is there uh, before we sign off? Is there anything we could scavenge from the eyeballs? I'm wondering. So I will say that there are three different things that you guys can roll. Medicine, nature, and arcana. And you can decide among the all of you two of the things to roll. Okay. All right. So 
I'm good at Arcana. I don't, I don't have proficiency in any of those, so if anyone does. <laughs> yeah, I'm really I'll, good at Arcana, but that's it. I can smell magic. I have a plus five in Arcana, but okay. medicine and nature. Is that, is that the best plus in, in those categories that any of us have? Plus what was seven, your Arcana. Man? You have a what? Ooh, damn, yeah. Plus seven. seven. Roll oh, a seven dang, Arcana. Okay. Roll a seven Arcana, man. So do we want nature right. or medicine for the other one? Because he said we could do two. Whatever y'all are better I'm, at. I'm kind of leaning towards medicine because I. Yeah, I like I, medicine. I, I feel like. Right? Like, we're constantly needing medicinal. We're constantly dying. Who's got the best? <laughs> Novelist. <laughs> Novelist is practically no, dead over Novelist, here. Novelist, you are super. I, try, I, I wasn't, like, targeting you, but I I thought I was going to make you Novelist unconscious. Novelist never dies. So, like, I'm actually a little excited to be almost dead. Y'all, please, yeah. please don't forget about me. But. <laughs> no. All right. So, so are you guys going to roll nature or medicine? Medicine. Okay. Uh, who's rolling medicine? I only have a plus one for either. Does anybody have better? Um, I have a plus zero medicine. Anyone have a better medicine? I have a plus one in medicine. Better medicine? I have right. a um, so plus actually, two. Okay, All right, never so mind. you roll, you you roll medicine, Nobilis. Let's see what happens. Uh, 12. Well, so, okay. Was, so with your we confirm that the Nothic was causing our illusions? How oh, would you know that? that? From, like my earlier Arcana yeah. roll, yeah, roll sure. or anything? <laughs> You're so funny, Adriana. <laughs> Remember when I rolled like something like four hours ago and three sessions ago? <laughs> Was that okay? <laughs> like, all right. So let me go into this. All right. So with the 22 Arcana and the 12 Medicine, the Medicine did not quite cut it. The Arcana, however, you've noticed that uh, obviously the eye has something very important to it. And with your Arcana skill and just kind of finagling you're actually able to recover the nothic's eye in its entirety and it's still oh. plump it's still like like pressurized everything about it is pristine and you expect Ooh. that somebody with an interest in magic would pay a lot for this arcane component wow. hey guys um, do football <laughs> <laughs> perhaps it perhaps put it in a box you... put the box in the bag <laughs> Perhaps if you were to find yourself in some sort of magical city in the near future, you might oh. be able to sell this for a whole lot of money. Oh, um, okay. Hell yeah. Cool. <laughs> um, however, there's one more thing that sticks out to you, uh, Talin. The spines and the spikes sticking out of the Nothic's back. As you're kind of looking at these, I'd like you to roll... Let's say either nature or medicine. Whatever you'd like. I have the same like both. Uh, gotta go. And actually, I'd like you to roll with advantage because I really want you to have this. Never mind. That'll be enough. Okay. Right, Twenty. Okay, we're good. <laughs> so you get this. You're you got a brilliant mind. Even though the fact that you have weird stats that kind of don't support what the player that you're playing is. <laughs> I recognize so. that. You have no many idea how many times I'm like, what the fuck did I... Okay. But that's okay, because what you find is that these blades that are sticking out of the back remind you of something. These these are very much the shape of a machete. Um, and so, you you, you know, this, this Nothic, it's dead. It's kind of like starting to... It, all of its muscles have relaxed, and you, you pull two of these spines really, really hard, and you pull two of them out of it. And what you, what you realize is that the shape of these being machete-like would make really good weapons. And as you kind of hold them in front of you, as you push them slightly together, they start to hum. Um, there's something magic about these that you won't quite discover until you take a short rest or a, a long rest, whatever you'd like. But there's something very specific about these that you think will make a very good weapon. All right. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, so to end tonight's episode, I will say that you guys go up, you talk to the rest of the crew. Felicity kind of recants your stories. Actually, she she spends a bit of time in the limelight, which is not something that she normally does. And she talks mm. about how wonderfully you all fought and how bravely. And she talks about the hands and the Nothic and all of this stuff. 
and you all bed down for a long rest, which is well-deserved and comes very peacefully as you do, are not interrupted whatsoever with any nightmares. Yay! What a- <laughs> And uh, over the time, you uh, over the over the night, you kind of become attuned to these two machete-like items, and you realize these are what you would call, uh, if I can find Magic. it. Holy crap! Where'd they go? Oh my god! I get special machetes. <laughs> they are called <laughs> mind mind shaper blades. Ooh. So the the mind shaper blades are a pair of finely crafted machetes. Or in this case, they're basically spines, but they're very finely crafted as they were grown organically. <laughs> uh, they have a slender curved blade forged from the spines of the Nothic. Uh, the blades shimmer with a range of color from deep purple to green. And while looking at them, you notice that when they're close together, um, you can kind of utilize the, the weird insight that the Nothic had. If you want to, once a day, you can use these blades to coerce a secret or some sort of hidden truth from anybody that you're near once a day. Mm. Oh. I dig that. And without yeah. having any charisma. That's yes. awesome. You don't even need you don't even need you don't even need to roll for it. You basically without you'll, having any but, personality whatsoever. <laughs> there, there I am is, a negative one, so So th- there is one downside. After telling you the secret, the person will know that they did that. Mm. Okay. Oh. Gotcha. That's interesting. That's a nice little twist of lemon. <laughs> so my fault you were drinking. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, thank you guys for hanging with us a little longer tonight. I wanted to finish that combat Woo-hoo! out. Um, but well, ju- well done, guys. Um, there is one little thing that I forgot to mention. So as you awake the next morning, you actually kind of find yourself up on the deck and you're looking around and you look behind you. And uh, let me go over to the map here for a moment. More what sky you serpents. S- no. <laughs> yeah. Everybody roll initiative at midnight. Yeah. No. Um, so what you notice, so you guys are right here, uh, right here. This is your, this is your little sky ship. Um, you have now passed Gleam Shadow. And mm. as you look past over your shoulder here, you notice that Gleam Shadow is completely enveloped in these gigantic vines covered in thorns, as if the entire oh. city is covered in these giant vines um something has definitely happened here but you continue on to on towards Erngor uh Kazord and that's where we will pick up next week all right Sweet. well thank nice. you guys all very wow. much for joining me us here on Dungeons and Dreams and uh yeah I'm done talking <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay. cheers Cheers, Cheers, everybody. (laughs) Too too many bottle chugs. All right, have a good one. (laughs) Cheers, everybody.